Welcome, welcome, Ryan. First time on the uh, group oh. therapy. Uh, <laughs> Bob, you're live from the car. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. I'm good, man. Ryan, what up? I got to meet Ryan in New York City. What's going on, man? That's true. How are you doing, Fabio? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm a little sick of this shit weather we've been having in New York, but it's all right. It's good. It's Saturday morning. It's WrestleMania weekend. I'm wearing my, my, I got to go to work after, but this is the Philadelphia. Uh, shout out to Philly, uh, my scarf here. But uh, gentlemen, we wake up this morning. Uh, surprise, surprise. Uh, Pulisic, Captain America, playing uh, in a central position. Chucky, Leao, Giroud. Uh, Adley, maybe be one of the surprises there. Uh, Ryan, since it's your first time to therapy pregame. Uh, your thoughts? Uh, what do you What are you thinking about the starting lineup? Uh, I kind of like it. I I want. I have, I mean, we've all heard about Pulisic playing in the center. I think he. I think he might be better than Ruben, other than the fact that he's a lot smaller. But his, I feel like his touch is better. His vision is a bit better. His pass is a bit better. I I think. I'm curious to see it. I just hope it is not too offensive because Adley and Ryan does uh, not the most defensive, but that's we, 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 we don't have any CDM, so it's the best we could do. <laughs> but I like it. I, I'm, I think we should win this game. I mean, we should go back to the ledge here for sure. So. Definitely, definitely. Uh, before I head it over to uh, Andon, that's going to do the uh, pregame uh, after. Uh, Fabio, Leche. Right, uh, fighting for relegation. Uh, this starting lineup, uh, would you have changed anything? How are we feeling? I know you're heading to the dealership, spending I'm thousands already. of thousands of dollars on your on your hundred thousand dollar vehicle there. But talk to me, buddy. All right, so first of all, I don't know if I like it, but I definitely love it, baby. Because oh, I've been calling for Pulisic in the cam. Finally, we're gonna see him, Chuck, Leal all together. Yes. Giroud up top, what can you do? Some people want Okafor. I would just kind of issue the same kind of warnings. Adley, Reindeers, who's sitting back? Who's going to be that glorified CDM today? Last game, it was basically Benesair, but Benesair didn't look that hot in that position. So we think it's going to be Adley today. Let's see if Adley can do a good thing. And Gabi is back in the starting lineup where Gio can finally change his underwear because he just exploded <laughs> probably seeing that he's there again so gabia tomori what undoubtedly should be our best center pair uh center back pairing right now they're in there i mean <clears throat> it's, this got to be one they got to go out there and take all right you, you can't come out passive you can't be looking forward you got to get the three points when you get a decent lead, then you can start making some substitutions. But I want to see him go balls to the wall for this one. I want all three points. Let's go get him two, three goals. No bullshit. Get Chuck on there. Get Pulley on there. And give one to old man Drew. Three nothing. That's what I'm expecting. Let's fucking go. Like Gio, I get it done in just a matter of seconds. How you doing? Let's go. It's too early for this shit. And on, it's not too early for you. You got the beer in hand. Uh, Pioli supporter number one, and on, may I add? Yeah. But, uh, and on, do you, uh, <coughs> do you have a problem with the starting lineup? Are you pleasantly surprised? Or I know Lecce guys, look at that relegation battle. Even Sassuolo yesterday still can't get it done up to nothing. Uh, get uh, call, uh, 2 2 with Salernitan. It's going to be a tough game next week, but. Against Lecce, I, I was joking around with Fabio before. I would have put Jovic, right, because of Thursday's game. But uh, are you okay with this uh, starting lineup? I mean, one thing I would change is just put Oka for instead of Giro. So we can have, we can see how it's going to look like with a little bit more mobile striker. Because I think also Chukweza will benefit from that. Pulisic, everybody will benefit from that. Because it, it, we will have more fluidity up, up front. For this game, I'm just a little bit worried about uh, the midfield because we don't have enough defensive players there. We, we might get exposed because, again, Lech is still not 100% saved uh, from relegation. They need every point they can get. And usually when we play against them, we end up in a draw most of the games we play. So we have to be careful at that. But I'm happy that Gabi is playing next to tomorrow. We're going to have a little bit more stability at the back. 
and hopefully Mike will continue his form. He was amazing against Fiorentina. I'm hoping he can repeat that. What I'm hoping for this game for us is to score a lot, a lot of goals, minimum three goals. With this with this attacking lineup, I think we can do that. I like it. And Andon, uh, you're going to be going on live uh, with yeah. Hans uh, at 9 o'clock, uh, guys. So stay tuned on the channel. The video will continue on. Uh, Ryan, you know, we keep on talking about always respect the opponent. But, you know, there's one side of me that goes, we're at home. We're playing Lecce. Look at the starting lineup. Andon going with three goals. What kind of outcome are you expecting other than, you know, hoping for the three points? Yeah, I, I agree. I think anything less than three goals, and I'm a little disappointed because I think we create the chances, right? The team does create a lot of chances. It's just we don't finish for whatever reason. Giroud might miss. We don't make the right pass, whatever. I, I think if we don't score at least three, then I, I'd be a bit disappointed. But regardless, we take the we want to take the win. I agree a lot. Like I think I was very upset when like Chow just came back into the starting lineup when Gabio was our best defender especially during the bumps in the road so I'm glad to see him back I hope he continues to be starting because Chow has not looked good he just does not look good uh and, and, and yeah and think, let's be honest too Gabio did not look good coming off the bench he's been looking good starting so right. That's so hopefully, point. hopefully for, from there. So you're 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 going with you yeah, want the, the high goals, three goals. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I I think I also I would say though like we really need to lock up the defense too. Like we should be trying to get a clean sheet there, because I mean some of the chances we give up, if we give those up to Leverkusen or Liverpool, we'll get smoked. Yeah, that's definitely like maybe a a a clean sheet would be good for morale. Uh, I'm gonna predict. Uh, a typical Milan win where we're going to win, but everybody's going to be pissed off at the end of the game. That, that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to go... That, that's your typical Milan. That Fabio, is... hey, how about you? I know do you have to get in there to the dealership. Do you have I'm any good. Prediction? I don't know. My wife, the, she, she doesn't like to follow rules or time schedules. So I'm just sitting here like a dickhead in the parking lot. But you know what? You guys are talking about finishing. Who doesn't finish? I mean, are we talking about Gio's girlfriends? They don't get to finish. I'm not quite sure. All I know is that Milan better finish today. I don't want another typical heartburn, upset stomach, and indigestion, partial diarrhea type of game where they got to make me sweat one nothing or 2-1 to one where I'm dying the whole game. I want to see go out there, put the pedal to the metal, put it on them, Show that offensively we are a much better team this year. Yes, defensively we're leaking holes left and right, which is not good, not good. But we got to address that in the summer. Right now we got to do the best we can with what we got, all right? Gabi has been great for what he's been. Tomori still looks very rusty, still got to get back to his full form. What are we going to say about Calabria besides just, Get rid of this guy already. Do not talk contract renewal. Do not give him more money. I don't care if he's uh, the captain. You got the captain on the other side. You want to give somebody more money? Give it to Teo Hernandez, all right? Look Shout out me. to Nick live in the San Siro. Give us a, every time people go, they're like our good luck charm. That's oh. what we need. Let's get some luck for Nick out there. Let's get an easy victory. This team is in the bottom half. Let's treat them. I, I swear. You, I'm doing the rest like the heart disease, I swear. Listen, you just you gotta be like that, all right? If I was in the locker room, they wouldn't be like, oh, that's my father. Hey Pa, how you doing? Good morning, Pa. <laughs> Listen, I, I can't help it. I can't help it. All right. I come with the fire every time because breathe, that's what the team breathe in does by the me. nose breathe in this is this is no, terrible. i don't breathe, breathe out in and out of the nose all right i breathe Excel, but... fire oh. from the mouth and the butt i don't give a shit today all right let's go i oh. need the three points and i need it like i need some blood pressure medicine let's fucking go you definitely need blood, pre blood pressure medicine. <laughs> uh, and on Kulm Colin collected, he's getting... What kind of beer are you drinking there? Did I recognize a Tuborg uh, beer? Yeah, it's Tuborg, yeah. Uh, I know, I know my beers. I know my beers. Um, so let's go with... Because uh, I got to go get ready. I'm going to go to the bar, watch the first half. I'll be late at work. Who cares? And on looking back at the starting lineup, 
who's your dark horse? Who who do you need to 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 uh, uh, surprise us with a fantastic performance? I know the easy answer would be Adley. Are you going with him or maybe somebody else that you want to see perform? I mean, what I would like for this game is Truqueza to continue his good form. I mean, he played good in the last three game games. I hope he can build up on that because we're gonna need him, especially in the Europa League against Roma as well. He can do some damage. He's a little bit more different solution than Pulisic. Although Pulisic is pretty amazing, I think this attacking this three behind a, a mobile striker, a little bit more mobile striker, they're gonna do a lot of damage. So I'm looking from from him, and also one of the obvious choices is Leao. This is like the third, fourth season, thir sorry, third season in a row when at the end of the season Leao just goes into another gear and he's he's not missing in the last few games. So I'm I'm also hoping from him to continue that form, and I'm hoping to avoid any kind of injuries because even before the game, the Chao injured, Benasser had some problems. I just want to avoid that. Look, he's always got to bring it back to a little bit of negative, uh, Andon. You know, he's always... The, but, but I don't want any injuries. I don't want any injuries. Uh, Dark Horse Calabria, maybe. Uh, Marcus saying, just kidding. Uh, Ryan, how about you, man? Who's who, Who's got to come out uh, come out swinging and surprise everybody today? I think... I think my Dark Horse for this game would be Pulisic. And because I, I want to see somebody in that cam role who has a good pass a good touch and has good vision and i think i do think Pulisic is underrated in that respect I've, I've seen some of the plays and he makes the right pass every almost every time almost every time uh way more than some of the others way more than loftus cheek and i think and so i think not to say that this might be his perfect position but whatever, whatever i just <clears throat> i think that in this role today especially against this opponent which i think we are stronger than I would love to see him kind of collect the ball, turn and and make the the right passes as needed. I think he I think he has a big game. Okay, I like it, and it could be a good problem to have if Pulisic, uh, you know, comes out of swinging and then loft his cheeks. It's 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 a good problem to have. Uh, and you know, going back to I know with Chucky, Chucky keeps on performing the way he is. Definitely this last stretch of the <coughs> the calendar and the Europa League. Fabio, Adley, dark horse. Uh, Chucky, uh, we've uh, spoke about uh, Captain America. Who who do you see being? Uh, who do you need to outperform everybody, or just surprise everybody? Well, I'm gonna go. Listen, it, this is the type of the season they start busting out your barbecue, right? You start getting all the outdoor cooking going on, and there's only one man who can hold the barbecue like no other. It's gotta be Adley, baby. I'm hoping he has a good game. Show us your worth, my man. We're getting towards the end of the season here. And to me, I don't know if you've done enough to warrant to stay. Otherwise, maybe they move on, move them, who knows. But I want to see a good performance from Adley. I think Adley's got to step it up. And I want to see a great performance from Gabia today to solidify that Chow shouldn't be playing, that he is the, the best pair for Tamori. So let's go with those two as my dark horse. Uh and now I see. Look, Davey, uh, your your best friend. He just he saw you and yeah, he, he just. Yeah, Van is a number one fan. Showed up and disappeared immediately. And he's going to get his WrestleMania shirt. Maybe who knows? Hey, hey, no talking about Davey. Your your best friend is saying, "Well, why did Don't you leave?" Don't fucking say anything about WrestleMania, Fabio. Don't That's you right. start, <laughs> Davey. Welcome. Uh, you know what? I was just doing the rounds of dark horses. Why don't you give us your feelings about the starting lineup? Maybe a dark horse, your predictions. Uh, talk to us. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I got woken up by my wife. She's like, babe, the podcast is playing and you're sleeping. Me, I got up. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good wife right there. She's the best. I, I don't know who's playing. I don't know who's starting. I don't know who's on vacation. I have no idea. So tell me what's going on. Uh, uh, Roman Reigns is, is the striker. And The Rock is playing Cam today. <laughs> you got Adley and the Reindeer's biggest uh, surprise there. Pulisic playing in the Cam position. Chucky on the on the right, Leao on the left. Uh, what so the what, happened, what happened to it? Is everyone injured or is this because we're playing Lecce and he's decided to try something new? It doesn't matter what you're thinking. We need we need a, an input. We need uh, your Lothar feelings Sheik waking is up. Suspended. That's why. Lots of Sheik is suspended. Fellas, I got to go. Forza Milan! <laughs> Ciao, Fabio. Ciao.
Uh, dark, well, I heard in the background Dark Horse for Adley. Obviously, Adley, I've always been pushing for Adley, but uh, lately he's been having really bad performances. He can make, you know, it's one thing that's crazy about Adley. He can make a 40 foot uh, pass, he can't make a two foot pass. I don't know what the hell is that. Uh, I've been seeing that lately. Uh, I don't know, understand it, like the little small things, but no, I would like to see Adley be the Dark Horse and be the game winner or do something that solidifies his position in the team. But as long as we come up with a win, I'm happy about it. But Dark Horse, I would say Adley. Uh, did you guys do the the scores or yet or so, not? We, people, uh, the, your 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 fellow uh, Patreon therapy uh, members said high scoring game like a three nothing. Uh, Andon and oh, okay. Ryan uh, went with three three goals minimum. Clean sheet mm -hmm. important, but uh, you know what? Let me do one final round before I head over. Uh, Andon, I can leave you on there until I put you the video. But uh, you know, coffee is awaiting at Chocharos. Davy. Give me a goal scorer. Give me how many goals do you see a Marcus is going 5-1, 5-1 uh, 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 final resort. It is Lecce, but we are playing at home. We are Milan. Uh, when was the last time, guys, we won five games in a row? I think Pioli uh, was mentioning. I think it's been a while, five games in a row that we haven't won. But uh, also, Davey, talk to us. Also, from uh, international break, we don't have the best record. I'm just going to tell you right now. I've seen the records from international break. When we're on a hot run, it's good that we stay on this hot run. The second we have a break, I find that the team kind of slows down a bit, and it's always against. But we the... won last week. We won last I, week. We won. I, agree. Last week. I, I know, I know, I know. We but... need five wins, five wins, like like I Booker T, been... five times, five times, five times, five times, <laughs> five times. Five times. <laughs> I would have been more comfortable, honestly, guys. I know it's gonna sound strange what I'm about to say. I would have felt more comfortable if we were playing a top tier team today. When we have an international break, even though it's a one week break, and we face a team bottom tier like the Lecce, is when Milan usually sits back too much, and then they we're and then the heart rate and the and the blood pressure happens. I don't think it's gonna be a high score. I missed your positivity, by the way. I've missed uh, your I'll burn me, me, Rally. I come straight in with the facts. It's Go back to bed. Go. I'm gonna talk, talk to your wife for later. No, but, no, no. Uh, no. We're winning this game. Me, I, you know what my prediction was, Davy. We're gonna win, and everybody's still gonna be pissed off at the end of the game. That's my that's my prediction. Who's typical be... Mi Milan fans? Milan oh. fans are still gonna be pissed off. We're gonna win somehow, some way from the skin of our teeth. But I wish for a uh, 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 convincing win. Goal scorers, guys. I'm gonna give you um, Chucky's gonna score. Leao's gonna score. That's what I feel. Giroud's gonna be subbed off by Jovic, and Jovic is gonna do. Uh, he's gonna put in maybe the three nothing, uh, the three nothing goal. I like that one. Andon, uh, let me get your uh, goal scorers, and I'm gonna leave you off uh, with uh, Andon, Davy, and uh, Ryan, whoever wants. Guys in the WhatsApp uh, group, in the Patreon uh, messages, the link is there. Andon will be doing watch along. Davy, do not stay with the watch along. It will be two neg. Andon and you, two ne actually two negatives might give a positive. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, Maybe that's the way I learned in school. Uh, and on goal scorers, uh, what say you? Well, I, I, I'm quite certain that Leao is going to score one. Chucky maybe one more, and I would be happy if Okafor comes from the bench and score another. What time is this game? I don't even know what time. Like I literally 45, uh, for 45 minutes. Get, get on. The, what if we were playing at six, uh, Dave? I just I finished work at four o'clock in the morning. Can you give me? It a doesn't matter. Break, oh, it that, doesn't that, matter what time you finish. <laughs> Ryan, goal scorers, man. Uh, so if I said three, I think I think Leo will get one. I think I think Giroud will get one just because he's up there. It's Giroud. Um, I think Teo gets one too, actually. Hmm. I think Pulisic with two assists. Okay, Pulisic with two assists. Okay, yeah. I like it. A lot of positivity this morning. This what therapy is Pulisic. all about. I would have said Pulisic as well, but since he's not playing his regular uh, line, I don't think he's going to have anything. But I think Leao, surprise uh, score, I th think uh, Gabia, a nice header from a corner. I could see that happening. I thank God I, you're he's... not a betting man, Davey. Thank God no, you're not a yeah, betting yeah. man. Thank God I'm not a betting man. No, 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 no. Hell no. But uh, no, I, and the reason why I'm saying that, just like Adley, he needs that boost of confidence. We brought him back. You know, the, the defense is not really the best. Tiao has been fucking horrible. Sorry for my language. Gabi will be nice to get him a nice uh, nice header, a nice goal, and get, uh, get that monkey off his back, you know? All right. All right. So, guys, I will leave you off with uh, Andon. Andon? Not too much negativity, okay? I'm leaving this off. I'm, 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 I'm giving you the lead here. You know, Ryan, it's his first time in therapy. You can't bring him to the dark side. Husney's not here. Husney would have already clouded his uh, clouded. Where's Husney? I haven't seen him in so long. 
How's the, uh, what time is it in Malaysia right now? No, you should. <coughs> you guys know he does his own thing, Milanista 360, with Shane, with Lab Gorilla. But uh, Husni is always present in the chat. Always, always. Yes, there. Yes, yes, but yes, it's sir. my time to head over to the bar, go get my coffee ready. And the game, guys, I will leave you off on that. Thanks for joining. Ovunque sempre, Forza Milan. In Andon's hands, I leave you. Andon, you got, uh, you logged in with uh, yeah. everything you got control. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be watching in the car. Huh? I'm going to watch you. Ciao, guys. Don't watch in the car. Don't drive yeah. safe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, uh, another important thing that we have to win today is not to allow Inter just celebrate the Scudetto in the derby. So that's yeah. why this game and Sassuolo game are very, very important. Uh, so we can only depend on ourselves not to get, because it's going to be really, really hurtful to watch Inter lift the Scudetto at San Siro when, we, when they play against us. Mm. But, uh, but happily, we are in a really good form and we usually, usually in the last few years, we finish the season strongly. I think we yeah. have like a high percentage of wins. Uh, I, I don't remember us losing games in the last like five, six, in the last like eight rounds in the last two, three seasons. Mm. I may be wrong, but uh, I think most are victories or draws. So again, it's going to be a very difficult game. Lecce is fighting for survival. They're still not safe. They're, I think, only three points above relegation. And we usually, we usually sadly, but struggle against Lecce. They usually, they usually score a goal or two against us and we, we get the draw. Yeah. But and they usually, I mean, look, they usually look at the last five. game. And they usually score fast. Yeah. They're very uh, high attacking, high pressure team. Mm -hmm. But I'm very happy to see that uh, back uh, the tree behind the striker because it was about we were asking this from Pioli for a long, long time. To see mm. Chuck on the right, Pulisic in the middle, and Leao on the left. One more thing I would change is just a little bit more about a striker than Giroud, that we're going to yeah. really, really see the potential this team has uh, in attack. Uh, again, what do you think about that, that back through behind the striker? Ryan, if you want to go first. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I think it's good. I think it's good. I think it's very attacking, but Pulisic already has a bit of a defensive kind of element to his game which i think will kind of help out a bit more i mean Ru ruben has been a big just a kind of a brute in the midfield which has been helpful pulisic is a little bit different he hustles a bit more but still helpful and i think it will be good i just i, I worry about the balance a little bit but i mean as long as we're controlled every i think if we control the game in the midfield like we, we're not missing our passes and that sort of thing then we'll We'll be fine in this game, but I think if we're sloppy with our passes, which I know is a bit easy to say, but I think this team will la like love to just sit back and hit us on the counter. So it really depends on can we take care of possession and be smart with the ball. That's why I'm hoping Pulisic again. I, I think he is has the highest football IQ on the team right now, and I think if he's in the middle and he has the time and space to operate. He can make the right decisions, I think. But uh, we'll see. I, I think that's a, I, I like it. I think it is a little attacking. But I mean, if if we don't do it against these frankly weaker opposition, then when are we going to do it? And especially now, the rumors are true that uh, Milan is sticking with Pioli. I think he feels a bit more comfortable with uh, trying out new formations and trying on new things to see what sticks. Yes, I'm one of the same guys that doesn't really want to stick with Pioli. But listen, we cannot deny the yeah. fact that he's been on a hot run lately. He's been good. He's, he's been, been good. good. Results, results are what matter. If uh, if the board really came to a conclusion a long time ago, <clears throat> they would have probably got rid of him already. But to get get rid of him on such a hot streak would be really bad. It would be really yeah. bad for the morale of the team yeah. as well. Uh, one thing that bothers me about this formation, about the people playing, uh, but the players selected is that Chukwesi and Pulisic are both playing. And I always find mm. that two players that play the same position tend to go to the same side. So mm. if Pulisic decides to go on the wing to help out and Chukwesi tries to go in the middle, he's not going to be a defensive. Uh, he's going to be a defensive liability. That's what scares me. Mm. And it, I've mm. seen it with Leao. I've seen it with a lot of players that usually change sides. It's not really the best thing. But like I said, it is Lecce. But just because it is Lecce doesn't mean we have to put our foot off the pedal. Right. I do yeah. see uh, having Ruben there really is uh, kind of a safe haven because he attacks, he backtracks, he muscles, he does everything. Mm -hmm. I do yeah. not see Pulisic. I do not see Chukwesi doing this. Pulisic just track back. I do see the defensive side. 
If he doesn't have that body, he doesn't have that strength yeah, that yeah. Ruben Loftus Cheek has. He gets the off the ball. He gets if he tries to take the ball off, it's gonna be a night and day. But they're all have been a hot form lately. Even Pulisic, mm -hmm. he had a day off. He had a week off because he's been on the international break. He played amazing for USA. So I think he has something to prove. Uh, Chukwesi as well. Chukwesi knows that his position is basically in Pulisic's hands. So if he does well, everyone has a everyone has something to prove today. I find the defense has something to prove. Uh, Pulisic and Chukwesi have something to prove. What's up, Gio? And uh, yeah, so I see everything. I see everything happening for this team to happen. Giroud. I'm not gonna really say anything about Giroud. Giroud really has to put something behind the net because if he doesn't. I think his head's already in the MLS next year, yeah. so it's uh, maybe jo uh, maybe Jovic has something to prove after he gets on the bench. So let's hope to see that. I just hope we come with a win and a, a, a convincing win. I don't like these little uh, wins that uh, bite the skin of our teeth, a red card yeah. or a ninety five minute wins. winner. Like like Vinny said, Milan fans are still gonna complain. But the reason why we still complain <laughs> is if we have trouble with Lecce. And that, what does that say about the top tier teams? We need to be always focused on getting everything and uh, getting the win early or at least just dominating the game and then giving the opponent a chance to even think about scoring. I yeah, think but, that's the thing. If we, if we got the win early, it would be fine. But we yeah. have to do it always is in the 89. And, like, and Magnon, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with this guy lately, but he does, he saves. He is, a, he was the man of the match last game and I don't disagree. But there's something about Magnon that lately has been bothering me. I don't know if it's his contract negotiations, whatever. But I find that he lets in the stupidest goal sometimes. And it is, I'm not going to put it all on him. It is defense. Defense counts as one. Then it's your goalkeeper. But I find with Donnarumma, I know I never say this guy's name. But Donnarumma, I had a lot more. I, I wasn't worried when Donnarumma was left one-on-one. -on -one. Especially for the penalties, Donnarumma doesn't let anything in. Magnon is really bad on the penalties. And we've been conceding a lot of penalties lately for some reason. So that's a little thing, I, a little worry about on my behalf. But listen, Milan structure and everything, I think they have already a backup plan for Magnon if he doesn't resign because it looks like he's not resigning. He's having a lot of trouble coming to a conclusion of how much he wants to get paid. But uh, yeah, that's another little thing that behind the, behind the curtains, I'm just worried a bit about. Yeah, but I think it's a little bit too early for the renewals. I don't think they want to distract the team in the late later stages of the of the season. I think after the season ends, we're gonna know if Mike is gonna resign or not. If he doesn't resign, just sell him while he has the high value. Don't wait just one one year in the contract. He's not gonna lose anything. Plus, Again, he gets hurt. Plus, he gets hurt every yeah. second or third game, or he, also, he gets a bit of a bump. Also, I, I'm not saying that goalkeeper is not an important position because because it is, but it's a position that you. You don't have to have a top level goalkeeper to win trophies. We have seen multiple times in the past. We're even think now with Inter, Inter are the best defense in the Europe in Europe, especially. They're not leaking goals, but that's not because Sommer is a world class goalkeeper. He's an okay goalkeeper, but he's not world class. Having having I wouldn't, a I wouldn't say world class, but I don't deny the fact that he is a go good goalkeeper. He's a yeah. bit of a top tier, but no, not world class. He's but level he's level below Manyan in a yeah. in a sense of a complete goalkeeper. And we can yeah. find that goalkeeper to replace Manyan as long as we pick the midfield and defense. If we have a Listen. solid defensive midfielder, solid defense, we don't need a top tier goalkeeper. We can use Listen, that money, when, improve, not even give that that much of a salary. When Onana is still considered a world class goalkeeper, that's when I know the the facts are just, <laughs> are just doesn't make sense. He's always voted top five. How is this guy top five? He is the worst goalkeeper I've ever seen on one of the worst teams, and this guy still manages. Is it the Premier League? Is that just the votes count? And I don't know the the fan base because this guy, to hold, this guy doesn't hold a candle to half the City A goaltenders. I don't know why the. So well, that's why many, when I when I when I saw that I'm like okay I'm not worried about that. Many times, many times, goalkeeper depend on their defense and midfield even to play better, even to be sure in themselves. When they see the defense is leaking, the midfield is leaking, uh, even the goalkeeper lost, lost confidence. So I think it's, that's why even Onana, you know, because United is, is a complete mess. Defensively, yeah. with their defense, they're, they, I, I don't think they even have like a consistent back for They're changing almost every game. And that's why they're looking at ton of goals. Also, they had a problem. I know they have like they have defensive midfielders, but none of them are playing good. Neither the Casemiro, neither Amrabat. Now, Mino is playing good, but still, 
so they they lack that defensive defensive backup and that's why even even onana is making those stupid mistakes so that's why i say even if we sell mike as long as we fix the defensive midfielders and as long as we get one strong uh, strong athletic center back that won't, won't give us worries and also uh a better right back we have to get a better right back oh, and, yeah, and that's, that's for sure yeah, yeah. Sure. would you guys would you guys take amrabat from manu of course i love I them mean, at Fiorentina. only, I love only if we get only if we get another defensive midfielder together with him just him yeah. i'm not 100 sure because would it, you, wouldn't be with, you wouldn't be comfortable with you wouldn't be comfortable with him and uh, benacer playing as a tandem uh defensive midfield no really I, I just need one more one more more defensive midfielder because i don't think that, about... I, I don't think there's not much uh space left for that because they're not really playing with two uh, two uh the pivot uh that was the old system of pioli i don't think he does that anymore yeah but i i think we're gonna sell one player and i hope uh i think it's more realistic to expect to sell benacer this summer i think oh, also I hope, I, yeah. I hope not i hope not but benacer yeah. is always injured too as well so Listen, he has yeah. problem with injuries he has I problem know. with injuries and i think th there's a player that it's a like it's not a big loss it's a, it's a, like a semi mid loss that can be recovered that's what i'm saying get two defensive midfielders because we have another mid or other midfielders in reindeers in ruben in musa that are not that, that defensive oriented so if we can get armor but plus let's say somebody like i i like fofana from monaco He's very good defensively. Also, I like Hoiberg from Tottenham. He's also very good defensively. So if we can make if we can make that kind of a combination and get Amrabat for about 15, 20 million, which that will be his price, his contract is expiring. I would be I would be really happy. We're gonna have a deep bench, and also we're gonna have quality in the first team. And, and plus like he, that, played, he played in Italy, so that's another plus. Yeah. When you already get a team that's a, a player that's established in playing the Italian system. It's already a big plus, and uh, Amrabat, uh, Amrabat, or however you pronounce his name, sorry if I mispronounced it. He's uh, he showed a lot of talent, especially when he played for Morocco. It was oh, it was a hell of a player. Yeah. Also, I agree with yeah. with Levan here. If we sell Mike, get Di Gregorio from Monza. I think he statistically is the best goalkeeper this season in Serie. A. He's amazing with reflexes. He he's good with his feet. And he he will come in cheap around twenty million. Actually, my my go to goalkeeper was uh, Bologna's goalkeeper Skol, uh, Solkowski, Skolowski. He's uh, yeah, he he's cool. a hell of a keeper. And who, and you know who else is doing very good, but doesn't reflect on the thing? Uh, Mihovic Savic from Torino. He has like twenty. He has like ten or fifteen goal uh, yeah. sheets. I mean, I freak. And it, that Torino is not the best team there, so he's definitely doing. He's definitely having a hell of a year, but. No, I'd rather go with uh, Bologna's goalkeeper. And my favorite was actually the what the goalkeeper that went to Tottenham, Vicario. I loved that guy when he was playing that thing. He was amazing. I, I'm I'm surprised Milan didn't snatch him up when they had the chance. That's what I'm saying. Even if we sold Mike, it's not in the world. We have solutions that we, we can fix that problem. Yeah, that problem was a long time ago when we had goalkeepers problem. But now we can fix that. For example, if we can get like, around 80 million for Mike, just sign a replacement for 20. You have 60 extra right, that you can use to strengthen other areas of the team and and i'm sure that we're gonna make some sacrifice uh this summer as well as long as it's not Theo royal yeah for that for the other time okay the, we saw we saw when this season with tonali regardless that he's 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 banned and stuff like that even if he, if he was playing we did good with the replacements we got the mm -hmm. midfield is is playing good because with those money we got reindeers we got uh i think ruben and policy with those money so well, we can do the, something similar. The city, the city, uh, uh, signing of the year has been three from Milan, but not signing. Sorry, three stars of uh, the city, uh, all are tied with Milan. Two of them was from Milan, was Pulisic and Ruben Lawson Cheek, and the rising star was De Catalar in Atlanta. Yeah. So imagine they all tied to Milan. So, uh, oh, the, there is, well, there is. so yeah, there's so that's another pretty good. rumor. There's another rumor Atalanta may not buy CDK if they don't get Champions League football. And that's, what I, that's what I heard too. But uh, no, then we're right. left with a, with a very interesting solution. Yeah, but I they like him a lot. They, him. they like him a lot. So uh, maybe they might try to get a discount deal. I hope not because yeah, the way he's yeah. performing, no, we definitely need to get paid more. Even if definitely don't no sell, discount. Even if we don't sell them to them, or Premier League club come for him they will pay 50 60 million without problem after he, the season he has 
even yeah. even in case we don't sell him i would try to keep him to give him one more chance and now pioli have... now pioli we we both we both said this me and you and on not mm. with pioli the catala mm. will not do good with pioli yeah. yeah but this season he's playing a little bit more further up and i think pioli would understand that the cam is not for him maybe try him at striker but yeah if pioli doesn't... would allow him to play his way or just give him a bit more freedom then yes of course but Pioli, I find that he gives him one or two games. Ah, you see, I give you a chance. You didn't do this. <laughs> back in the yeah, bench. yeah. I mean, we're certainly not a loss. What whatever happens with with CDK, we can we can profit in every in, in every scenario. Yeah, there you go. So hopefully that is, guys. My baby is starting to wake up. I'm gonna have yeah. to let you go. Thank so, you for Forza Milan. All the best, guys. Hey, Enjoy. Baby, what's good, man? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Gio, I wasn't sure if you were still there. I I no, saw a black. Uh, uh, I'm here, man. I'm driving to the club, man. It's well, it's like five thirty in the morning, so I mean, <laughs> I mean, you're not well, gonna get any. Thing. You're but driving back home. You. You're no, driving no, back going, home from the club. No, no, I'm going to the club. Ah, nice, right. nice. No, the club. I'm thinking about this. The club, the club. <laughs> no, no, hell no. I would be dead, man. I'm too old for that. <laughs> Very nice talk to you, G. All the best. We have to catch up soon. All right, bud. All right, bud. Take, Take it easy, guys. Be good. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Take care, man. Share us your thoughts on the game, Joe. What do you think will happen? I mean, uh, the only problem I have is Giroud. I think, uh, like I said on the podcast on Wednesday, I want him for Europa League nights. He knows how to win. He knows how to win it. He put a dagger in Arsenal. He was unreal in the final. And like you, you've been seeing him as soon as European football has started. His performances haven't been uh, good. I know he's on the farewell tour, but you ain't no Kobe, so you don't get that, like Paul Pierce says, mm -hmm. okay? So um, I, I don't know. I don't know what Pioli's doing because look at even last game. He missed two sitters and because he's not – his body, like, I know he's physically fit, but his mental body, nah. I, I think it was good to sit him, and I need a fresh Giroud for Europa League. I, I, I want that trophy. I mean, that's the only trophy we could get now because Pioli doesn't care about anything. But, yeah, no, nah, but other than that, man, good to see everybody. You know what? You know what? It's odd for me. I don't know how it's lining up for you, but they say Drogu is playing like a left winger? I thought Who? he's a left back. Drogu from Lecce. Oh, no, he's know. a left back. I think he yeah, can play but, as a left winger, but he's a left back primarily. Yeah, yeah man, he's, he's strong, man. He's powerful, but. I mean, good yeah, to see him, yeah, but, but let's just get the points, man. Let's just get the points and and let's keep building. I don't know, and that's it. Like, let's be on good form so we can advance as far as we can to Europa League, man. That that that's my only opinion right now, and we'll wait till the summer, man. What's your end, prediction man. for the score of the game? I mean, I'm going two nil, man. Uh, I, I want a clean sheet, and and let's just ride out, man. Let's say they're gonna be what, what position they in? Are they like around their relegation? Like, yeah, they, they're fighting for survival. They are uh, around three points ahead of the relegations yeah. or something important for them. Yeah, no, nah, so so they're gonna scrap for everything. So we need to fight for everything. And if we do that for, um um and on we win the 50 50 balls, I think we could be able to win the game, man. Or there are four uh, points, not, not three. They're sitting at yeah. 13th place. Yeah, yeah so, I, think, I think we need to own own the game in the midfield because if we like again if we're playing sloppy if god forbid adley is throwing passes away like he used to then they they will eat that up counter us and then all of a sudden we'll be two nil down and have to chase the game and that's like that's a nightmare so i think if we tidy in possession don't do anything risky and stupid and then move the ball around geo i'd be curious to hear about uh pull a sick plane in the cam i want to know what you think about that but uh i think i think it'd be good i think he has the best iq in the uh in the team but uh, like soccer iq football iq but yeah. uh i don't know i'd be curious to hear what you think what, what, what both of y'all think about politic in in the camera i think i think it's gonna suit him as well because listen primarily pulisic uh is a left winger and there were some concerns that moving to the right would not work but he did amazing he's good with both of his feet and um, he's not somebody that doesn't defend he uh, 
he's doing an amazing job as a right winger, tracking back, covering, defending. So I, uh, he's not only only th- only different from Ruben Loftus that he doesn't have the physicality, but I I, I don't think it's gonna be that kind of a problem because uh, I think uh, Lecce lost Hume Humeland and they lost some of that physicality in midfield. And the uh, only thing I worry about this game is uh, Adley because Adley is sloppy when we're defending. He makes some some stupid fouls. Yeah. He's yeah. caught off the position. I hope he can solidify a little bit better game. Rangers is improving even defensively and offensively. So mm-hmm. it's going to be, uh, as I said, it's going to be interesting to see that mobile front three where everybody's mobile. They can they can interchange positions. I just hope they, they don't lose in those changes. Even Leao can go in the middle, Pulisic can go to the left, Chuck can go into the middle, Pulisic to go to the right, Chuck can go to the left. They can do so many combinations to try out something new if, if the original plan does not work. I only hope that in the second half, at least we're going to get like 20 minutes with Okafor as the striker with those three. At least 20 minutes, because I really want to see how that will look with a little bit more about a striker that can dribble, that can hold up the ball, that can track a little bit back. So it's going to be... It's going to be interesting, at least interesting to see if we have some potential there. What about you, Drew? What do you think? Uh, I'm waiting to see Pulisic in the cam. And uh, I mean, if we, we it, message to purely, if we beat in this team like 4 0 or 3 0, bro, can you bring in Zeroli, man? Like, I don't know. Like, you're a waste person, man. You're not giving no, the youth no love, man. It's, it's, yeah. it's now or never for them, man. To be honest with you, but I'm willing to see. I'm waiting to see Pulisic. Let's see. Um, everybody's been crying out for that. The U uh, U.S. Men's National Team fan girls and fan boys they've been waiting <laughs> for that shit, you know. Uh, and let's see if he doesn't perform. They're gonna have to answer a lot of questions. No, yeah, Dober Dober is playing as a left winger today, but he's usually a defender. You know what he's been playing as a. Yeah, he's a left back, but today they're gonna play him as a left winger. It's gonna be interesting to see. Yeah, that's all. I was like, oh, and then he has, uh, a, and so he has the same attributes as Theo. Like he can uh, defend and he can attack. That suits good. So when Theo and needs also, a rest, also one one player, other player that I'm worried about is the the right wing Banda because in the first game we played, he destroyed us completely. He destroyed us. He, he he was playing with circles uh, around our defense. So I hope he doesn't have he doesn't have the same game. Fun, fun fact. Fun fact. Last time we played them against it was Saturday in the same in the same time slot. We were two zero up and they equalized in the second half. I just hope that that kind of meltdown doesn't happen. And they even scored. Yeah, that game they even scored in the ninety fourth minute, but it was disallowed. I forgot about that. So it's gonna be a tricky game, but I hope we have enough to to completely win it. Yeah, uh, listen, guys, we're gonna take we're gonna take a little bit of break, like around ten minutes. Ryan, you're welcome. You can stay in the in the live. We're gonna do the watch along if you want. Okay. I'm just gonna put that. In, let me just find. All right, it. guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe jump in at halftime or something. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. We're gonna be, for some we're gonna, for some We're gonna be back in around like 10 15 minutes at all. Okay. Cool.
Yo, welcome back, guys. We're just a few minutes before the start. The players are in the tunnel. They're gonna go out. They're gonna go out on the field shortly. For those who are just tuning in, the starting eleven for Milan are Mike on the goal. In the defense, we have Calabria, Gabi, and Chao will make the center backs, and Teo on the left. In midfield, in the double double pivot, we have Adli and Reinders. Uh, the cam will be Pulisic. Leao on the left, uh, Chukwes on the right, and we drew at top. We're going to play in, the, in our standard 4-2-3-1. A 4-2-3-1 formation, while Lecce will play in the 4-3-3. Uh, for Lecce, let me just get the starting lineup, see if anybody interested. In, in goal, they have Falcone. In defense, they have Gallo, Bashiroto, Pongarcic, and Venuti. In midfield, they have Gonzalez, Ramadani, and Bin. And surprisingly, in attack, they play Dorgu as a left winger. He's a left back, uh, firstly by position, but they're gonna try him at the at the TV. Just a second. Okay, they uh, they're gonna try him at the left winger position. And they have Christ, uh, sorry, uh, Kristovic in attack and Banda on the right. I don't know if you guys if you remember the first game. Banda was one that equalized at 2 2. And uh, if memory serves, they scored also in the 94th minute, but it was disallowed. So it was a difficult game. I'm not expecting an easy game, but still, I hope and I'm like 70% sure that we're going to win. So, but we have to be careful. It's going to be interesting to see how, how our attacking lineup with those three behind the strikers is gonna look like so they're now they're now on the field we're just waiting there we're waiting for them to start it's gonna start in a couple of minutes i'm just gonna do this Okay. Let's see some of the comments. Oh, nice to be back. We missed last game, but we're continuing today. Uh, let me read this comment. The thing about is both Pill and Chuck are extremely good to the point that it's let down if one of those players has to be matched over the other. Hopefully this turns out good and we can see it more often. Yeah, I mean, uh, listen, guys, Trukwesa had a difficult start to his new online. First of all, he came in a little bit later than the, the others. He had problems with, he was out for, I think, a month. He started playing like two months into the season. After that, he had to go to Africa Cup of Nations where he didn't have the best of tournament. And another thing is, Pulisic playing this good, you can just not bench Pulisic and give uh, and play somebody over him. The, the game is gonna start. I'm gonna continue to talk about that. Just give me one moment. The players are on the field. We have we have the first attack. We are playing in a pink jerseys. Hopefully, they will bring us luck. Let's see. They're just waiting for the right time. Okay, game started. We have the first attack. We're going through the middle. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how Pulisic behaves. And Chuck is the last three games he has the ball right now. The last three games he has been amazing. Uh, he shows what he can do, and I really, really hope for us that he can continue that form because we're gonna need him also for the remainder of the season and also for next season. If we want to go at one level, we, we have to have at least two quality players per position. We cannot just depend on one. And he has the quality, just sometimes players need a little bit more time to adapt. And uh, we don't want to repeat the CDK mistake just because the coach doesn't know how to use him properly. So we have to be a little bit more patient. He's the only summer signing that is not performing at a top level. The other signings are performing. And we are like one of the few teams in Europe that have like 
players with double digit contribution. So we have a very, very good, very good uh, team. And we just need some other quality pieces just to complete. But we have Lau, Lau on the left. Oh, we have the first corner. Sorry, it was Tail or Lau, I didn't see. No, it was Tail, yeah. Also, we have Tail now back. He was suspended last game. And we can, we can already see the difference when Tail is rested for at least one game. He's very really dangerous going forward. Let's see, was it a offside? Yeah, it was offside. It was on the corner. But it's good that we're showing signs that we can be dangerous. Now, which are attacking? But they didn't do anything. And we're trying, okay, bad pass from Calabria. We gave them the ball back. I think we need to be a little bit more uh, more calm when we're dealing with this situation. Cross for Elche. Dorogo on the left with Calabria. Cross the ball. Nice to Mori. Shot. Another shot. Ooh. Oh, they almost scored. This is not good. We should not allow this, this kind of shots. Loya was sleeping on that. Gabi a bad, bad reflection. This could have easily been 1 0. We have to fix this kind of issue because when we play against Inter, Inter games and against Roma, hopefully we can win Roma, then against Leverkusen in the semi finals, they're going to punish the situation. Uh, it's, I'm always worried when we try something stupid from the back line. Now, Lecce are surprisingly playing with a high pressure game. Calabria on the right, and he lost the ball. But uh, okay, it's, it's our join. And I'm also worried about Calabria because he's getting targeted a lot. Hans will probably join us in a, in a few minutes. He's just going to be a little bit late, but he's going to join us. Also, guys, check the Patreon group, check the channel, hit the like, subscribe button, join the Patreon. You're going to have the opportunity to join the watch alongs, join the pre-game therapy, and a lot more, more entertaining stuff. So if, if it's not a problem, go check, go check the channel on YouTube. Also, also, a big thanks to our Twitter community, to our X community. Thank you for joining us every game. Oh, sorry, we have Hans here. Let me just add him to the stage. Yo, what's up, Hans? Okay, he's gonna join us a little bit later. He's probably doing something. We're attacking on the left. Adley passing to Calabria. Calabria in the John Stones position. Gabia. Chukweza, let's see what Chukweza is going to run down the right. Ooh, nice move. Nice move with Chukweza, he, he gets fouled. This is what we need Chukweza to do. To get those fouls, to get those. You can see he's very dangerous in those moves. Kick now. I leave in the cross. Let us see. On the fire, fire post, but it's nothing. We have a throwing now. Yo. Yo, what's up, Hans? Not much. Just got home. I see zero zero so far. Yep. We're attacking right now. We're looking now. good then. I well, see had one Ruben's not playing today. We got Pulisic. Oh, nice right. move by Chukweza. Chukweza is killing it. Pulisic. Pulisic 1-0. From the camera. Nice. Pulisic. 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 I think I'm seeing it right now. Chukweza. 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 
Pulisic, Pulisic left foot. Oh my goodness, weak your foot as well. Beautiful goal. Not just Pulisic as a number. 10. Beautiful Where's goal. The right winger. What a finish by Pulisic. But did you see the move from Chukweza? Yeah, Chukweza did a nice uh, pass. He kind of did some penetration, laid it off for him. Well done. He's an assist. It's Another an assist, goal for yeah. sure. Nice ball. He took two players out of it, cut into the box. Well done by Chukweze. He drew like three or four players to him. Yeah. yeah. And so far, this back three behind the... Yeah, that's well done by Chukweze. That's more like it. Oh, it took a deflection. That's... Oh, well, it's like a little bit lucky. It took a deflection off the shin. We'll take it though, 1-0. It's a goal. I don't care. Let's hope we uh, keep it up then. Yeah. Looking good. I'm like way behind you, I guess. What time are you on? Uh, I'm on 6.58, 59, 7. I'm on 20 seconds up ahead. When you're going to be at yeah. 8, you're going to tell me I'm going to sink. Sink up. Okay, okay. Wow, wow, wow. Hell. Cross! Oh, we, we almost scored another. Pulisic, we almost scored another. <laughs> Alright, what, what time did you say? What time should we sync up at? At 8, exactly 8. Oh, Leao, strong play. Oh, Pulisic with the header. You say at 8 okay, minutes or eight. when? Yeah, yeah, 8. At 8, eight. Exactly. okay. Eight exactly. Okay, okay. I'll keep an eye out. Um, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 8. There we go. Nice. All right, thanks. We're dominating them. And this is a Lecce team that, uh, well, at home, they, they held Roma. An on fire Roma into nil nil. I think Dybala though was out of the team in that match. Yeah. He came on like very late. Dybala's Chukweza you know got his injury oh, problems. I love this Chukweza problem. And them. It is. It's paying dividends. They don't. They don't know how to deal Nine. with it right now. It's a lot of movement going on. I like it too. Look at this. Pulisic is on the right now, along with Chukweze. Chukweze goes, gets double team, but he wins the corner. Well done. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. Uh, okay. Adli is on the set pieces, it looks like. Takes it quickly. Short. Pulisic. Pulisic. They give him space to cross. Oh. Drives it in. We're making trouble. This is more like Adli. it. Imagine now if we had a mobile striker. Imagine this with Zerk set front. Yeah, it would definitely help. I mean, Drew is at least a big target guy. Like, I think it works well also with these uh, more mobile players around him. Oh, well, poor flick from Drew there. Yeah, it seems like it's uh, finished. He's going to LA, I believe. Yeah. Drew, yeah, no it's done. He's, 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 he's gone. So we're definitely losing a big piece of our team. The goals, the experience. We're going to have to do a serious Mercato again, in my opinion. Uh, the last news, sir, he told, uh, he told the management that he's looking at offers. He's not 100% oh, sure. Oh, Chukweze. Yet. Chukweze. Ooh, come on. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, it's oh, a beautiful goal. No, Wait, it's what? Nah, it's oh my god, I thought I was in. Corner kick though, deflection. Oh my goodness, Chukweze. This is more like it. We. This is. It's been like six months since we've seen this from Chukweze. You see, with Chukweze, with confidence, what he can do. 
Yes. If you can continue this to, to the end but of the summer, can it's going to be amazing. Oh, good cross. Oh, another one header by Chukwesa. Hentos <laughs> loving it. Oh, Pulisic could, could almost score the second. That header. Now pressing. They go long. Calabria loses the battle three times for that ball. Well, in the end, though, he wins, wins the uh, second ball, but it goes right back to Lecce. Yeah. They're attacking now. Yeah, Calabria, he knows he doesn't have the size and strength. He's got to... He can't really contest for those uh, balls that are bouncing around. I'm just surprised that they're putting Dorgo as a left winger, not as a left back today. Yeah, I saw that too on the team sheet. I was uh, very surprised. I mean, I guess it's more defensive, you know. He's going to give you some running, but he's also going to try and play defense. But I mean, I, I would assume this is the side where you want to attack. You know, you'd want a more defensive guy in the... Uh, on our left side, the opposite side. Oh, listen, I think because you have Leao goal, and uh, Teo on that side. With this goal, Pulisic has more goals than Trukuesa. Then, sorry, than Turam. Yeah, I believe it. Turam has ten. Turam has ten. This is the eleven goal of Pulisic. So yeah, he has. And that's not even counting the assists he's had. I assume he's gotten quite a few of those. He no, there he has. Pulisic has six. Turam has seven. Oh, okay, so Taram's getting a little more assists. Well, still. Just one more. Let me see. That's... Some poor balls here being played. No, sorry. It's, it's, First it was from Milan, goal, now there. Falcone kicks they, it out. They are, they are tight now with 10 goals. Only Taram has still, one more Pulisic assist. is not even playing in his best position the whole season. Yeah. And that Inter setup is... Uh, you know, set up for the strikers to be the the goal threats always. Right, come on, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Ooh, nice pass by Chuck. A little bit. He's a little too tall. I would, I would, he should have played like a little bit of a softer pass there, but it's fine. Yeah, but it's good that he saw he saw that Drew is open. He has a vision on the field. Yeah, of course. You got to get into Drew but there. He's not playing. Calabria loses it. Calabria loses the battle three times. He's got his arms in the air. He's not even playing for the ball. God damn it, Calabria. Fails to win it back. I would love to see Okafor instead of Drew in the second half. No, I'm not so. I mean, maybe. I mean, if, it, if Okafor is in great form, yeah, of course. But uh, th that size from Giroud, you know, he's gonna he's gonna have to you know be marked all the time, and you always have that threat of just putting the ball into Giroud, and he makes it. Stick. Yeah, but like like that, we're gonna have more mobility. They can. Okafor doesn't have that really, but. It's a yeah, shame because yeah. Okafor isn't really that small. You know, he should add yeah, that to his game to be a striker. He's 6'1", and he's lightning fast. It was a handball by uh, Dorgu there. Or was it Banda? Banda, yeah. Banda scored the second. Oh, so if, a, if a goal had occurred, it would have been called back probably. Yep. Do you remember the first game against Leicester? This season? Yeah. No. We were 2 0 up in the first half. They tied it in the second half. 2 2 with Banda scoring that second half. Yes, goal. I remember that now. I was uh, in America when that happened. And they nearly and won they it. And they also scored. They scored. Yeah, they, they scored, scored it at the last the second, second, but it got called off. Yeah, yep. It was I remember that game. now. Yep. I remember that game exactly. Didn't Chukweze play that game too? I think, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice move by Pulisic. Oh, Pulisic. He Good strength. Gets it to Chukweze. Chukweze. Good first Ooh, touch. Oh, nice. Chukweze. Ooh. Chukweze. Still has it. Gallo, though, wins out in the end. 
He's being a problem, though. Chikweze. And, of course, Labre commits the foul on Banda. He's not been able to establish uh, dominance over Banda yet. Calabria. A little unlucky, though, with that handball before. That's for sure. Wow. Hans, do you know how many viewers we have right now? No. How many? 416, 17, 418. We have Excellent. Is it, I believe it's probably from Twitch, right? We're, we're getting a lot on Twitch. Or Twitter. No, from Twitter. Twitter? From X. Twitter? Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. I see most of you probably welcome. the first time. You're welcome. If it's not a problem, go also check us on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. But thank you for joining us. Let's see. Lecce is attacking. They're attacking on Yeah, the follow left. us on YouTube, you guys. Subscribe, like and subscribe. And if you can't check out uh, our site, Milan Lab, as well, we have a lot of Milan mm -hmm. things on there and gaming things as well. We're all Milan fans. But we also. Of course, watch Ooh, all nice the other shot. games. Come on, shot. Well. Use your speed. Use your speed. Oh, he's making problems for them. He, he, won, got... he won the foul there. He's definitely yep. established Probably dominance over Gallo at the moment. And this is a, you know, this is a poor coaching decision maybe to, to uh, put Chukweze against Gallo. He doesn't have the speed. They should have had Dorgu in the back marking Chukweze. That would have been a better matchup for him. Because Chukweze is just blowing past Gallo right now. Gallo, I think, is being linked to uh, Roma, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's a good left back as well. He's not yeah, bad. but you can see it's it's more like a Calabria kind of left back. He's getting burned as soon as yep. he's up against like a little bit of pace. Yep. And not, you know, defending with a bunch of his teammates. We he have, gets exposed. We have, to, we have to push a little bit more further up. We have to use this momentum. Yes, I agree. And I, I want to see the center backs get involved a little bit more. This is good, though. We're, we're dropping a little bit deeper. Calabria Stones, as you can see, is playing DM. I don't know if I like this, though, from Calabria, because now we're leaving Banda wide open for that counter. Calabria seems confused. He's arguing with uh, Tomori, it seems, over yep, something. He's They were, they were arguing the with each other there. Third corner for Milan now. Looks like it's yeah. going to be oddly again in swinging corner this time. As everyone makes their way up. Gabia, Tomori. Join the Frey, Chukweze, and Pulisic outside the box. Close. Near post. Oh, oh yes. yes. It's Giroud. Was it true? It was Olivier true. Giroud. I think he got a tap yeah, on it. Yep. Yeah. He just, just glanced yeah. it. Barely glanced it, and it's 2-0. This is fantastic. We haven't seen a game like this in a while. And it's classic Pioli, too, to turn it on in April, May. Just when, the, you know, people are talking about, is he going to stay? Is he not going to stay? He turns it on, and everyone's like thinking, okay, if Pioli can do this a whole season, we'll win everything. The situation that yeah, perfect glancing header. Perfect glancing header. And this is what we're going to miss next season. We need... A striker who's going to come up with these goals. He's been on a goal drought, but he's back in the back in the goals. Juru, big gap, and he's leaving for free as well. Thirteen Serie A goals. Not that's not counting anything else. It's Thirteen <coughs> Serie A goals this season. Best season from Juru in a Milan shirt yep. by far. We love to see this. We have just we just have to continue this. Uh, looks like they're checking something. I don't know what they would be checking. Yeah, it's a goal.
Yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate, man. Giroud is going to be leaving us for free. That's a huge gap that immediately we need to fill with 50 million, probably 60 million for Zerxi or something like that for Sheshko. Right, he's attacking. Let me just play something. And we haven't even sold anyone for Guys, profit. Guys, not subscribe. Go check any... our YouTube channel, Milan Weekly Podcast. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for joining us this live. Also check our channel, Milan Lab. Check the Patreon group. And if you can, join us. Petri is attacking. All right, Gallo with the throw in deep in the Milan territory. Gallo is good. Ooh, Adli oh. gets done. Adli gets done by Gonzalez. Oh. Banda in the box. Gabia, fantastic. Gabia, fantastic again. He did make a mistake. It's the offside first time, as well. He recovered. He made the mistake Gabia? at the first. Yeah, but he recovered. Where did he make the mistake? Before the throw? No. What do you mean? The first, this one. Oh, when yeah, yeah, yeah. The first, the clearance. Yeah, you're right. But yeah. he recovered. He did recover he the recovered. situation. Yeah, you're right. That yeah. was a poor clearance from Gabia. Yep. Gabi had definitely been in f excellent form since coming back from uh, Villarreal. And maybe we, maybe we need to do this, you know, for other players as well. Send them out on loan to a foreign country. My mind immediately thinks of Chao. Maybe they, Gabia and Chao, they've completely flipped. Chao is the one who's probably last in the pecking order. He's having a lot of physical problems as well. Maybe he needs a loan to Germany or to Spain. Yep. To get back that form. Like a little six month period. Still fairly long, young. We're linked also to Maxence Lacroix, I think is his name. Lacroix. Yep. I think he's a French Lacroix. center back. Built very big like Chow. He should be coming in to replace Kiar. And he's in the last. Uh, year yeah. of his contract in June at least and so yeah. he should be available pretty cheap Banda holding his face of course everyone holds their face when they get touched doesn't matter where you're touched just hold the face yep Great We're playing Chikweze, taking on three players drawing everybody to him yeah that's a great assist by Chikweze If he does that every other game, of course, you keep Chukweze. If he does that every other game. Ooh. Is that Teo tripped up? Well, you know what they've done? They've, they've done exactly what I was thinking of, uh, and on they've switched Dorgu on that side for Teo. He's marking yeah. Teo. That that's that's exactly what I was thinking. That's where he should be on the other side, marking Teo. And Teo's had a pretty quiet game so far, so maybe that's uh, worked so far. Oh, ball into the middle, bouncing around. Calabria loses it. Reinders wins it. Pulisic. Can't get past Pongrichic. Ooh. Tail. Is it to Dorgu now? Dorgu. No. Waiting for options. That's Cross cool. into the box. Ooh. Bicycle kick. Gabia was not there. Dorgu, that was a bicycle kick by the way. That was the other one. What was his name? Banda. Banda, yeah. Banda and... I'm not sure. I think it was Gonzalez getting in each other's way there. I think it was Gonzalez who actually made the contact. No, no. And Banda... Dorgu was the one that made the made the, the, the scissor kick. Banda was the one that crossed the ball. No, but they're playing on the opposite sides. Yeah, so Banda made the, the yeah. Banda, cross from Banda the right. was the one. Yeah. Are you sure? Because Banda's playing on the left, and no, Banda's playing I'm on the right. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was Banda that did the bicycle kick attempt. Twenty-two no. is Dorgu. 
It was number 22. 22 is Banda. 13 Banda? is Norgu. Yes. Did you in position? Banda's like the shorter. Banda's the shorter guy. And he's oh, more yeah. explosive. But they changed position. Usually they play. Yeah, yeah, they did. I, I was going to say, Dorgo, I think, was on the, the left. They've uh, swapped. And this is where I thought Dorgo was going to be playing, you know, a more to, to uh, mark Teo. To try and nullify him a little bit. Banda's down right now. Banda has an issue. I think it was from that bicycle kick. He got he got a knock, I think, from Gonzalez. Something that weird happened to him. He's got a problem now. That's a huge loss for Lecce if he comes off. Yep. I don't know if he's grabbing his shin or his like Achilles tendon. His lower shin. I, I think it's the ankle. He's like trying to rotate it. He's like saying there's some pain there. Hmm. Yeah, he's going to be fine, I think. Be fine. Yep. Yeah, he's fine. Oddly looking for Pulisic. No. Drew keeps the pressure on, though. And it's given away. Calabria going forward. Ooh, just missed it for Pulisic. And we've got plenty of players back to get that ball won again. Plenty of players in defense. So we're covering them well with that counter. Oh, nice move by Reinders. Dorgu, Reinders fends him off, holds him off. I like Dorgu, honestly. I, I would love to see yep. him at, at uh, Milan. But I mean, we'd have to sell like Florenzi and that's never going to happen. Because I see him as like the Florenzi replacement, kind of. And Florenzi's here till 2025 at least. Game just slowing down a bit. Lecce being allowed to have some possession. Yeah. We're not really pressing them with any intensity. Well, we should be right now. They're, they've entered our half. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Great. Better. Oddly cannot Oddly jump sleeping. whatsoever. Sleeping. And this is why I'm saying we need to sell Oddly. We can sell him for a profit right now. He's not that young anymore. He just doesn't have the physicality to stay in the game always and he's not defensive either he has that physicality but he's not using it he's a big body he does have a big body but is that he has very little athleticism for that big body yeah. though that's the problem and i don't know if that's something that he can yeah, train and get home. better at or not because sometimes you're just born with those genetics a little bit Yep. But I'm pretty sure we could get like 12 million for him right now, which is more than the eight that we paid for him. I mean, we can get. So in my opinion, I would take I would take that and run. Pobega as well can 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 leave. We need to get some real, you know, players that can start for us and win against you know Inter, win against Roma. You know, guys like I like the Fofana. Honestly, I think that's a good option for us. That link is very Rangers, good. On the right, come on. Drama come on, as well. Oh, Chukweze, Chukweze, Chukweze into the box. Oh, well, he was did. looking for Giroud. Giroud couldn't get the separation though from Baskerotto or Pongrichin, somebody. To go all the way now. Try to go all the way. Yeah, yeah, I would have. I would say the same. Well, I think Adli was aware of it. He just wasn't positioned well and he just doesn't have the athleticism Gonzalez streaking through it wasn't even the forward it was a midfielder streaking into the box that we just didn't bother but also another question where was the defense there why is Adley the last man 
Yeah, I think they they were following the striker a little too much there. They pushed up their line and then oddly kind of fell it back into the defense and he didn't oh, stick nice with that run from Gonzalez. Well done by Calabria. Yeah. Doesn't let the ball go out for a corner. Yeah, their left side is definitely the more powerful. Well, that's nice a fantastic play. tackle from Calabria. Fantastic. Banda is down as well. Banda oh, is down. Nice Come on. Calabria just Pulisic. absolutely destroyed Pulisic him. Cross Switch from Pulisic. Oh, Leao ah, trying his own. Why, Leao? Why? And Leao. Well, he went for the spectacular bicycle kick. That would have been let's goal get, of the season if that if that not get came off. The first time we also were like this two zero up in the first. Yeah, I mean so the exact same thing happened. We were up two zero against Lecce in Lecce, and they came roaring back in the second half. We just fell asleep, didn't even play in the second half, and we could have lost that game easily three two. Yeah. All into the box again. You know it, it's this guy Kristovic. He's 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 getting a. In these positions against uh, Gabia, and he seems to be winning that battle. He seems to be the more aggressive player, the stronger player right now. We're not winning that battle. We're not winning that battle, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't know if he's a lot bigger than Gabia. They seem like the same size, but he definitely looks stronger than Gabia. Happy, uh, well, no one can get on it. Yeah, that's good from Drew. I, that's what I like to see. I mean, even if it's a foul, that's what I want to see. Break up the play. Show aggression. It's just a foul. And it's in a good position as well to make the foul. It's around the halfway mark. No yellow card is going to happen. Just give it everything you got. Go in for the challenge like that. If you win it, you win it. You don't, you don't. And it just breaks up the game. Because right now, we're having to defend quite a bit. Teo, I don't know what he's doing, Teo. Teo is half asleep here. He's won the ball back, but then he's had a very poor touch and gives it straight back to Lecce. Reinders awake to it. And now Kristovic is on the ball. Nobody can take the ball off Kristovic. He's so strong right now. He's so aggressive. The pumped up uh, Balkan guy, Balkan man, right now. Gabia wins it back though. Gabia making the run forward. Well, they out. Lucky gets it back. Gets fouled. Well, Pongercic has not agreed with that, and he's gotten a yellow card for his complaint. No, it's not Pongercic. It's uh. Well, I'm not sure who it is. Blin, Blin. Blin. Blin with the yellow card. He doesn't agree with the yellow. Or the foul, I should say. And he gets the yellow card for complaining. Game just slowing down about 10 more minutes until halftime. And I, I really don't understand what we're doing with uh, Calabria. Why is Calabria... Why do we do this every game with Calabria? Throw him in the middle as a defensive midfielder. I don't understand this. We have no space then. We have no width on that flank. And then we, we're ending, we're, we're pulling Gabia out of position to try and get wider or Chow when he plays there. It makes no sense to me to do this, especially when the other team is playing with wingers, especially fast wingers like Banda. And Calabria goes yeah. in the same position again, that defensive yeah. midfielder position. And if I were Banda, I would be sitting way I would be sitting on the uh left attacking Gabia right now. That's what I would be doing. Yep. 
because as soon as they win it back, they, he's an option. He's a threat. As soon as they win it back, he's a massive threat with that speed. We have to score, have to score one more. At least. You know, just play a through ball anywhere, and he's going to get to it. Oh, nice Bobby, pass. Most the Rangers didn't control the ball. Chiquese trying to get involved. Doesn't yeah. win it, though. And here they come. And Gabi, he's he's squared up against Fonda. He's out of position again. He's having to play right back right now. Calabria is in center back. And foul by Chukweze. Somewhat dangerous free kick now. Yeah, I really I really don't like this tactic. I really don't. I don't know why Pioli insists on doing this all the time. I, Tomori, I feel like, was even arguing with Calabria. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you coming in the middle? You remember that end on? Like 15 yeah. minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. I feel like that was what he was arguing. He's like, why are you coming into this space? Why are you crowding the fucking space here in the middle? We have it under control. What are you doing over here? Chiquese trying to get it to Leao. He does it. Well, good t first touch from Leao. Oh, wow. Poor touch from Pulisic. He fell asleep there. Please fall down a little bit. We don't need to. Yeah, Pulisic acknowledges that was poor because he had the time, he had the space. It was well played by Leao, and he just took it so slow that he allowed the Lecce to get on him when the counter was on as well. Eight more minutes from the half. Disappointing. Let's see what we can do. Hernandez tries Leal. to find Leal. Honest, honestly, yeah, that whole side has been shut down by Dorgu and Blin, I think, over there. Blin is yeah, on a yellow, the though, so we this should is, definitely attack him. This is the difference from, from last few seasons. We were only dependent on the left side because the right side was completely useless. But this season, we and, a yeah. lot of danger from the right side. Yeah, so for they sure. Cannot the left shot side side. They cannot shut us. On both sides, they can shut us on one, but not on both. Yes, goal. and that's a big part of Pulisic and Ruben coming into the team. They've done an amazing job for a season. Yep. And here we go, Pulisic, or sorry, Ru Calabria oh, going into bit. the middle every single time as a defensive midfielder. I don't know if this is because, you know. Pioli's worried about Adli and Reinders, you know, getting outnumbered there and out, you know, fought in the midfield. Oh, oh here they come. Poor, poor. Yeah, Adli and Calabria get done. Nice Mori, recovery, though, too quick from for Kristovic, but he plays it right back to Lecce. Banda held up by Chukwese now. I feel Chukwese doing a decent job in defense as well. Yeah, and I, I, we've seen that before. Chikweza, he'll he will run a bit for the team. I, I've seen that from him a few times. He's definitely not a layout type player where he's just gonna sit up there for the most part. Because I can understand us slowing down. Maybe we are conserving energy for Roma. We just have to be concentrated in defense. Yeah, let's let's get in two zero because if we get in two one. That gives them a lifeline big time. Yeah. And it's it's going to be, you know, the game we had in Lecce all over again, probably. And so far, it's following that trajectory. We're falling asleep. We're not even able to attack them because we're so asleep, so poor in the build-up play that we're not even able to attack Lecce the past 20 minutes, I would say. 15, 20 minutes. I can we slow up on purpose. We don't want to waste too much energy. Just I don't we know. Need to be concentrated. What, 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 what is he looking? Calabria is down. Calabria down. He's in a weird stance. This looks like a groin issue to me, possibly. Yep. yep. He's not looking good. Yep. Calabria. That looks like a substitution at halftime. Maybe that kind of Groins are very tricky. Yeah. Very tricky. I've had plenty of groin issues, and I've known plenty of uh, teammates that have had groin issues. It's a tricky injury to deal with. Let's see. Oddly, it looks like he maybe won that. 
Oh, well played by Teo. Nice. Oh. I uh, couldn't get past Clean though. Good tackle. Reinders, that would have been a good foul to make. He didn't make it though. And I've seen this many times from Reinders. He fails to make that first foul when he won't even get a yellow card and then they get a counterattack. Well, well, luckily for him, Dorgu is not a winger that can really cause you much problems. Because he should have played with a little more aggression in that situation. And realize what's behind him. If that, if that, if that man gets through him, realize what that means for the team if he gets past Calabria. you. Calabria playing that Don Stones position in midfield. Yeah, exactly. And luckily for us, Banda is not uh, sitting on that but left also flank, tail. a little further wide. Both of our fullbacks are playing in midfield. Well, Teo, I understand. He's trying to make runs. He's like at a free roll, kind of. Well, a free roll. roll. That makes no sense. <laughs> and also, Teo, he's having to deal with Dorgu, and Dorgu is not even a winger, really. So you don't have to worry about Dorgu as much. Well, Kristovic gets in. He makes the space. Tomori, very poor from him. Allowed Kristovic to just turn easily. He went in twice, and he just didn't even get close. Yeah, but like, he didn't look too much. He's fairly close, close, but he did, he really didn't do enough there to stop the shot. And Krizovic puts a yeah, shot on target was... right in the corner. He didn't have much space for the shot. Yeah, he's tight he's to Krizovic, but he, he spun him and he got it right in the corner. So he definitely didn't put him off much. What is the referee doing? Oh, he's. Sure, so yes, they will hope for a third as well. But also, don't forget, we play with Roma on Thursday. So maybe, maybe it's smart to conserve some energy for that game. Because we have very important, important games after this, but which we have to win. I mean, I, you can't play a football match like that at this level, and on. I don't think you can tell them. Okay, think about that. Conserve your energy. Well, you can. Why you're playing home against Lecce? Because they will literally fuck you. Nah, away yes, but at home I don't think so. Also, this victory won't mean anything yet, except Inter not to celebrate in the derby. That's good at all, but Thursday is, uh, is the only That's reason enough. I mean, Roma's but in the Thursday. same situation. They're going to be playing the derby right now against Lazio. They're not going to be resting anybody for that. Oddly. Yeah, but we can. We can. We have a deeper bench. Okay, in the 60th minute, sure, we can think about that. I wouldn't do it at half. Whoa, whoa oh, red, red card. card. Holy, holy shit. What did happen for a red card? I don't know. He Was must have there? had an elbow in the Chukweza elbow? or something like that. It's Kristovic, the fired up. It's the fired up Balkan doing Jovic stuff. He's doing what Jovic happened? things. What's he? I don't know, man. Let us see the replay. Did he, did he elbow him in the face? Kweze is not holding his face. He needs to hold his face right now. Hold oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's all right. You know, he's got his hand. He's got his eyes on the ball. I'm I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit... Uh, no, sorry for it. Right. He's got his eyes on the ball the whole time. Yeah, but you cannot be that not, not careful. You have to... I don't it's know. a big consideration. Because this can cause a serious injuries. Yeah, he had, he didn't really retract his foot. That's the problem. Yeah. If he if and he retracts the foot a little bit, maybe they they won't give it. But I mean, uh, I I feel for him in that situation, honestly, because he's, he's watching the ball the whole time. He's stupid. You cannot. But he, that, he's not stupid. But he's not aware of his whole total surroundings. You cannot. Sure. But you cannot. You cannot uh, raise your 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 feet. That that high. Yeah, you're not you're not playing street football where you can get away with yeah. that. It's just like you know a foul. He's just stupid. He's extremely stupid. In a, in a street setting, 
or even in uh, the lower leagues, you'll get a yellow card or just you know a foul. It's just a foul play. Keep playing. Sorry in, about that. In three, in, in three seconds, but in the Serie A, that's a red card, and we stick your foot up that high, especially against a smaller player like Chukwueze. His head is near that area. It's into his chest. Well, okay, now we can think about resting players and on with the red card. Who who do we bring off though? And do we do it at halftime? Yeah, of course. Who then? Pulisic? Lay out? Mm. Giroud? We're in the worst Rangers. Okay. Benacer is already resting this match. We're, we're resting Giroud. We should rest Giroud. Pulisic. Pulisic. So make three changes at halftime? You're probably out. You're probably out. I want us to score one more goal and really, like, I don't want us to win. I want us to have some momentum, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want us to win, like, 2-1 or just fall asleep the whole second half. Let's put another one at least past them. You can't lose the second half. So, in that sense... We're not man up in yeah. with... I will, I will say this. Uh, we have three Primavera players that could come off the bench. Simic is on the bench. Bartasagi is on the bench. Um, and also Simic. Simic, Zeroli, and Bartasagi. So all yeah, three of those guys. Should, if I see fucking Kier come on, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be but so there pissed. No need, listen, there is no need to make defensive substitutions. That would be stupid. I mean, Bartosagi could give Teo a rest. But Teo rested last game. Teo didn't That's play true. in Fiorentina. So no need to waste. Also, Calabria rested for Lens. He played. All right, so you do Zeroli Papua for uh, Pulisic then. Yeah. Maybe give Tomori a rest a little bit. Maybe that's one of the Okay, so then you get put Simic back in then. Yeah. yeah, I agree. He's coming back from injury a bit. And they don't have a physical player up there anymore. They're playing Banda as a striker. So, I mean, maybe you need some more speed in that situation. But, yeah, Simic should be fine. I mean, I would I would leave the, the Lea on the field. He hasn't done anything. He's not wasting any energy. He's just walking. So, he's not... Yeah, Leao, Leao knows. That's why Leao plays every minute of every game because he plays the way he plays, the effort that he puts into the match. The ref should end the half right now. It's almost four minutes plus. Half time. Yeah, first half over. Half, first half over. Yeah, interesting first half. It's nice to see. We just we dominated and then we uh, yeah we, we've seen this many times from milan where we do this we dominate and then we fall asleep a bit even in the first half after we've scored two and we just take it easy we're cruise and then sometimes we're on cruise control so much that we draw the game it's a very common uh theme in milan matches with pioli uh gavin's here what's up gavin hans should put Quick two goals to kill off the game by the 60 minute. Put on kids Jovic and Okafor save Leal for Roma. Um, for sure, we should use some Primavera. And Leal, I mean, he's not using too much energy right now. And yeah, Yo Yo Okovic, or sorry, <laughs> I said Okovic, Jovic or Okafor for sure for Giroud because we should rest Giroud. I agree with that. Because, I, I, I mean, we got to play Giroud, right? We got to play him. For yeah, but I, I also agree Leo should stay on because he, he hasn't even done anything 
to say he's tired. He's just standing there. I, I don't. I mean, even if we don't make any changes, Andon, I have a feeling they're gonna score on us. That's just how, yeah, how we've been uh, playing this season. With a man down, no. With a man down, they're not scoring. Even with a man down. Even nah, with the man down, I feel like they're going to get something. Especially, nah. I mean, I don't have total confidence. I mean, do is it probable? No. But, I mean, it's not as nah. unlikely as you think. They're and I just want the team. momentum. I want the momentum for that game. And I re I'm becoming yeah. a huge Lazio F Steve fan right now for this Roma derby. For many reasons. Because we have Rome. Uh, in the Europa League and then also because Bologna we want Roma to overtake them so we have a little bit more leverage on all those players at Bologna and coaches because with Champions League I think it becomes a lot harder a lot harder than you think to get Xerxi to get hopefully Calafiori in my opinion or Motta for the coach or maybe you like their uh, what's the central or attacking midfielder they got from like Scotland Ferguson Ferguson, Ferguson is a beast so far but I mean we have Ruben so I don't see that deal happening honestly and I don't think he really plays the DM kind of role Ferguson so he's more attacking than that one I said that one I don't see happening as much and I don't see a need for it as much but Xerxes I mean, numero uno I, Calafiori I would be perfect I, well. I only see I only see Xerxes coming in uh-huh Uh, we'll see. I mean, Calafiori for me would be perfect because he's left-footed and he can be that Teo backup yeah, once Florenzi leaves in another it. season. He's going to be that Teo backup. And we don't even know if Teo is staying. He hasn't renewed yet. So, Jesus Christ, do we need somebody that can come in and play. But Juventus well, is already... I, I wanted him even a few seasons ago when, when he fell out at Roma. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why they sold him. I don't know why they moved him on to uh, that's to where where did he go? Ba ba Basel? I don't know why the hell they did that, Roma. There was no need for that. That was stupid from them. And it's come to bite them in the ass. I mean, he wasn't that great at Roma, because for it, he was average, so. Clearly, he's not average. Clearly. But they played him as a left back. He played this season as a center back. A yeah, it's not the way that you play him. Yeah. I, li I like I him know. in that libero kind of role where he's central defender, but he's making these runs forward. He's like a Teo kind of. I feel like him and Teo is, together would be fantastic because you don't even know where, it's, where the threat is going to come from. I love is, having those kinds of center backs. Mm. So I don't think we're going to get I him because he went to I love having those center backs, though. Like the way Inter does it with the back three, and any one of those three can kind of push up. And you see it from Bastoni in particular, always getting those assists, having those crosses come in. Those little, you know, when you're dominating possession, those little, like, you know, 15, 20 meter runs just to make that space and put in the ball, put in a nice cross. This is an it's so important. interesting question. Does people keep this layout like, opposite to Quesa three against Roma, though? Listen, I won't do that just because of the reason because uh, Ruben Loftus has been our best player in the Europa League. He scored like three, four goals. He almost scores in every game we play in the Europa League. I think we're going to need a more physical team against Roma. And the way that they play, I think Ruben will be I mean, a much better fit would, for that game. I would stay, I would let uh, Chukwes on the bench, bring him in in the second half, and again, after that, start him at, against us all. I mean, the, the Roma lineup is probably going to be, what is it? Like, uh, they have Indica starting as the left central defender. That was another great pick that we missed out on in the summer, unfortunately, for free. Because he's left-footed as well. Indica and probably Mancini in the back. Yeah. They have a pretty new goalkeeper. He's fairly young. He's fairly small. But he's playing well at the moment. He's playing very well. Svilar, I think is, yeah, Svilar yeah. is going to be goalkeeper. And then they've got in the side back roles. Who do they have? Is it going to be Spinazzola? You know, he's kind of in and out. He kind of has injury issues. Maybe it'll be Celic on the right. Celic, yeah, probably. Probably Celic. Uh, could be that Nordic player. I forget his name, though. He's kind of... 
He's so-so. Or it could be Zalewski if they want to go like super attacking, but I think he's more of a winger nowadays. And especially in that 4-4, four, four, or sorry, 4-3-3 three, three setup that they use. And then in midfield, you're going to have Cristante, Paredes, and maybe Awar. I think he's come back from injury. He's been pretty good. Maybe you see him play there. I think they've dropped, uh, what's his face, that young Italian player that was playing there a lot. He's a little bit smaller. I forget his name, though. Anyways. And then they're going to have Dybala, Lukaku, probably El Sharawi up top. And Dybala is going to be going against uh, Teo, most likely. And I think Teo can really dominate Dybala, in my opinion, if he's up for the game and he's there. Because physically, he's just such a beast. He could be, a, he could mark Dybala out of the game, basically. Oh, you're right, Pellegrini. How did I forget the captain? Siracha, thank you for mentioning Pellegrini. Yeah, Pellegrini is going to play for sure. That's the other central midfielder. And I think you're going to need Ruben to play as that can because you yeah. and Ruben's going to have to come deep and get get on those central midfielders, play some defense against uh, I mean, Pellegrini sometimes. Listen, the a bigger guy, would, Pellegrini. Perfect scenario would be win the game the first time at like 3 0 and <laughs> have the option for the second game to, to rest some players because we're playing. Oh, yeah, of course. That. Of course. That would be the of course. Scenario. That's what we've been doing in all the other Europa League fixtures. We've been killing them in that first leg. We haven't even been playing Europa League, basically, in my opinion. You know, we've, we've yeah. been uh, sleepwalking through it. We haven't been playing. We've been sleepwalking through the Europa League so far with yeah. the draws that we've had. Yeah. And it's great to see us picking up some, uh, some momentum right now. Let's just keep it. Let's not fuck up this game and draw somehow or even let it go in you know listen usually in the I last want three see, seasons, i want to see at listen, least zero. that's the bare minimum two zero that's the bare usually minimum, but we, usually in the last three seasons we always finish the season strong in the league at least i don't know that's pioli's thing because we they start talking about his job because he had such a horrible uh mid-season november november to, to february is his worst months ever we oh, yeah. always crack in the points. Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, that's been... Even before Zlatan came, that's when we got nailed by Atalanta. Five, five goals by Atalanta. And we seem to pick up the pace in February, at the end of February. I do think the, I do think the players genuinely like Pioli. I think he's an easygoing guy, easygoing coach. Yep. He doesn't not give gonna, you know, put them through pressure. rigorous training yeah. sessions. He's not going to punish them too much unless they, you know, He's too nice. you know, publicly publicly speak out against them. I think that's what maybe happened with Salamakers, what ruined that relationship. Maybe Salamakers started saying things like, I should be playing more. What are you doing? I scored, yeah. I scored a couple goals in the Champions League. What are you doing? I scored some crazy goals. Give me, give me the starting role more. And Pioli probably didn't like that. That's what I think. Because, I mean, they, they used to be buddy-buddy. Him and Salamakers. That was his boy. Something broken, though. In that, something broke in that relationship. It looks like Salamakers is going to be staying at Bologna. Probably a little bit less than the $10 million. I think it'll probably be around, like, 7 Something like not, that. The buyout clause, clause is around $10 million. We should not bring the buyout clause down. Especially well, we did the same thing with Tonal. I mean, and on, do you want Salamakers coming back? No, no, nobody but wants still, that right now. Even no, though I'm, no, I love I is, love Salamakers, but the relationship is clearly no, no. It's not about it's not about wanting to come back Salamakers, but uh, when we they're going to say fuck you, we can do a lot more with ten million. Let them do it. Let them do it. They cannot. I don't want to play listen, chicken with like that. I I don't want to fucking play chicken like that. But listen, we cannot million. allow themselves when we ask for a player that then they to ask hundred million when we ask them them to. to yeah, for sure. Xerxes, you cannot, you can't be asking for seventy million. Yeah, he's kind of, if he's agree, kind of been slowing down. Like Xerxes, as the season 40, has progressed, he's been slowing down. Like 40, 45 plus, 
Let's sell it, make Christmas then. Okay. Yeah, of course you, you take that and run. Of course you take that. Forty-five try to... million and salad makers. Of course you take that. I mean, the problem is I. This is what I said before. Like, okay, go ahead. Listen, we don't have a problem even if salad makers they don't buy them because he's having a great season with them. We can still sell them for at least ten fifteen. Is it that great though? Is it really? Yeah, he has a great season with Bologna. He's yeah, he really scored a great with... goal recently, but what's his stats? I don't think no, he's he had that great of a season. He has. Or Cellini's had a great season. Also, Salamakers as well. I don't know. I think he's had like two or three goals, Salamakers. Maybe like the same in assists. It's not like they can. Let me check. And he's 24 now. He's going to be 25. He's not getting much better. Um, let me check how many goals and assists he's had. He has two goals, two assists in the league. But it's not just the yeah, goals ex- in the season. There but you go, and the That's what I'm saying. But and he's had a red card as well. It's not just the goals and assists. He's playing very good overall. Mm-hmm. It's not just the goals and assists. That's why Mota is playing him all the time. I remember there was a time where he was out of favor for a few months. He wasn't even starting. Yeah, at the start. I remember. But since January, he's playing constantly. Sorry, since December. Well, it's a good time to pick it up. Leave them with a good impression at the end. I, I I hope so. I, I I hope it's like I mean we can do it we can come down from the ten million. I think they paid like a few like they paid like a million up front for the loan itself. So you could do it for like nine eight, nine million. Sure. Eight, only nine million. Lower the, the uh, price. Only if they lower the price for Xerxes, yes. If they don't know, fuck them. Do the same way. What do you mean they're gonna lower the price? We're we're gonna take the the nine million, and then they're gonna, you know, negotiate separately the Xerxes thing. Of course, that's what I'm saying. If they don't, uh, they don't decrease the asking price for Xerxes, then don't Listen, decrease the asking price for us for saving Salamakers. a million or two on Salamakers, and then them coming down fifteen million or twenty million from Xerxes. That's not gonna happen with Xerxes. They're gonna stick to their guns on Xerxes. They're not gonna come oh, down to fifteen, well. twenty million on that. Doesn't matter. We stick as well. We can still sell Salamakers after that. And we are not in the position, though. They know we need a striker. Giroud is leaving. And they also we literally need know Jovic. Jovic. And we don't even know if Jovic is going to play. We don't even know if Jovic is starting. But also Everybody knows Milan's, everyone and, knows Milan's situation. You can't bargain like need, this. There's no bargaining to be need, made. They also need wingers. It's not like Bologna has a deep bench. And yeah, deep and they can get a winger for 10 million. They can go to Denmark and get the best winger for 10 million. They can go to... Belgium and yeah, get the best and, winger yeah, for they, million. Yeah, they could and they, they should they have to wait and if to perform. Well, they can get the same price for a player that already performed in the in the Serie A. Already performed and two yeah, goals, two assists. You can get that. You can get that elsewhere. I'm sorry. I don't I don't know. I expect Xerxes to be like 60 million. I expect him to be 60 million and Salamakers, yeah. Okay, we'll get our eight, nine million from him as well. So in Total, it'll be like 50, 55 million probably for Zexy if you want to put Salamakers, you know, as that operation. Hans, you get here. Gavin is saying, Hans, Zexy, 20 million plus 10 million add ons plus 10 million easy bonus plus 10 million for Salamakers. I mean, that would be fantastic, Gavin. I think they're going to want cash big time, though, for Zexy. They're going to want Almost big cash. Because Xerxes is a big... I mean, they have no reason to sell this man. Especially if they get Champions League. They have no reason to fucking mean, play ball you know, and to sell it. Why? You know, unless Xerxes has money. some kind of release clause or something like that. They have no reason to come down from... Bologna is, not think, a team that can, Bologna is not a team that can reject a 50 million transfer in, in any scenario. That, mm, that, may, that might be. That might be. That might be. Yeah, I think 50 million would get it done. I think 50 million and then, uh, you know, throw in Salamakers for free would get it done. For sure, that would get it done. Something like that. And we should do that, honestly. We should, I would take that deal. Because you, you got to pay. I'm sorry. You got to pay for these strikers. You got to pay. Arsenal, Lab Gorilla, you're worried about Arsenal coming in for Xerxes? I think they're going to go for Sheshko. I think Sheshko is built for the EPL. He looks like an EPL kind of guy. I think that's who they want, in my opinion. And honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind Sheshko either coming in, but I think 
he's a player who's going to need a little more time to adapt to the league. And I do think he's going to need, you know, support around him in the form of like, you know, players to be buzzing around him, to be giving him good balls, good service. But he would be great too, Sheshko. I mean, I wouldn't mind paying his release clause for 50 million. I think he has a release clause, Lap Gorilla. It's not 50 million pounds. It's like 50 million euro or something like that. Yeah, yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah, if we look at the stats, Zirks is not having amazing stats. He only has 10 goals for a striker. That's not wow. Yeah, yeah, he's a young guy, but yeah, not he wow. has calmed down in this in this uh, second half of the season. Maybe that's that's a uh, shows. I mean, he had an injury as well, but he's showing signs of you know maybe there's something going on with the player and his agent. You know, they're trying to do some deals. There's a lot of talking going on, and so his mind is not totally focused on Bologna at the moment, perhaps. But I mean, Bologna is doing fine. They're still yeah. winning all the time. And he's putting in good performances, I would say, Zerxi. He's playing for the yeah, team. Gokerez, I mean, Gokerez, Marcus, I think, is way more expensive. And yeah, he's having a crazy season in Portugal. But I mean, we've seen the same thing with Ramos and many other players have these crazy seasons in Portugal. And I'll be honest, I'm not convinced. And I'm, I'm Swedish. I'm Swedish. So you know, you know I'm speaking the truth. I'm not totally convinced by him coming in. I think he would do better than Sheshko that first season because he's a li- he's more mature. He's like 25 now, I believe, 26 years old. So he's he's in his prime, Gokeres. And I see him though, he going to the EPL Gokeres or somewhere else. I think he's they're going to stick to their guns. They're going to want him to to be like 60, 70 million cash. I don't know how the Portuguese league does that. How do they swing that <coughs> hand on? How they get like these crazy deals. They they seem to always swindle people, in my opinion. Because it's easier to score in the Portuguese league. Yeah. It is. It is. It is a lot easier. I mean, we had a tough time against... Uh, oh, well, 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 come on. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Uh, he waited too much. Shoot from there. Nice, Lau. Hold on. What, what, what minute are you in right now? Because it just started for me. How do you mean you just started? I think my stream was... I mean, I wasn't paying attention. All right, I'm in the 46-23 right now. 24. We're at the same time. Chikweze. Okay, cool. perfect. Good play from Gabia. All right, so no subs, it looks like. Nice move. So I like I like this. Let's come out and really clear, kill this game. We're at the San Siro. We're playing as a team down to 10 men. We dominated them for the first 25 minutes or so. Oh, oh, nice move beautiful. Ooh, beautiful. Nice. Uh, he slipped a little bit. He slipped a little. That's what Reinders can do. He has just, he's so smooth. I mean, he, it's its beautiful to watch. Nice, Adley. Adley yeah. does well. Adley. He's trying to find space and yeah, he fouls them. Yeah. He's not as silky smooth and quick as Reinders, those feet from Adli, unfortunately. Yeah, Adli just was not blessed with the physicality, unfortunately. His his brain, his legs, they can't keep up with his brain. It's like he's 35 years old already, 36 years old. That's what Adli reminds me of. It's like he's already in his late 30s and his legs can't keep up with his brain. All right, come on. Let's come on with some fire. Let's go. And yeah, we don't need to be doing these sideways passes all the time. We don't need to be walking around. We don't need to be coming deep to get on the ball too much. Come on. What are we doing right now, Andon? What the hell are we doing? Ah, just conserving energy. We don't need to waste. Conserving energy, my ass. Come on. Let's go. Sweat a little bit. That's how you prepare. No. You have four. You have four. No, you have five days to recover. A whole week, basically, to recover. It doesn't matter. It. And if you don't put the work in, you're never going to get into good form. You never. Your muscles why, aren't even going to improve. Listen, why? You have why, to train hard. You have to play hard. But why would I don't, you I don't risk do this anything? You're two zero up. Why would you risk when there's no need to risk? 
neither injuries, neither nothing. Because you need that mentality. You need that killer mentality. And kill get them. injuries. Kill them and get the injury injuries. Injury might well. You shouldn't get injured. Don't uh, be stupid and get not, injured. Not about Just because you play hard doesn't mean you're going to get injured. No need to waste energy in a game that you. Calabria is won. done. I think he's been stepped on. He's down. And they do put it out of play. He's holding his Achilles tendon, the left Achilles tendon. I don't know if that was stamped on or something happened. Uh, well, it wasn't from the contact, it looks like, but maybe from the impact of the field, something weird happened when the challenge was being made. This is another reason I say Sal Calabi. He's just breaking down all the time. And he's so average. And any any profit we make is like a you know capital gains for the club because he's a primavera product. Gavin says Milan needs two strikers. Jovic is not good enough as a number two striker. Zerksi is still learning his craft, so Milan should go for Jonathan David. Yeah, I agree about that. We need we need more. I'm worried about losing Giroud as well, Gavin. I'm worried about that a lot. I don't think the offense is going to click as much as it did this season, next season. Unfortunately. I could Why be wrong. Not? I hope I'm wrong. Because with a mobile striker... Yeah, as you say, Endon. With a more mobile striker, it could happen. But, I mean, we've seen what Giroud can do in the penalty box and the kind of goals that he puts in. And we're going to have to learn how to play with this new style, with this new striker as well. And we're going to have to learn his movements. We're going to have to learn how he plays, where he wants to be. Yeah, also, but also with Drew. And all these things. Yeah. So I don't expect also, it to be insane all season. I mean, he could start very strong, score two or three goals, and then go quiet for a little while. Something like that, you know? But also you have negativity with Drew playing as well. He slows under them. He fucks up many attacks as well. Yeah, but in the end, he's he's getting the goals and our attack is getting the goals. So yeah, we'll see the if this continues or if we, it starts to go stale. Oh, Teo is the one. Teo is not playing. He's... Teo, Teo is a captain is a different Teo. Teo is a captain. Now he just puts his hand up. Oh, sorry, guys. Like, he's not even playing. Teo. I think you. I think that's exactly what he told them, Pioli. Conserve your energy. We have Roma. That's what I feel like he's told these players. We are getting completely outpossessed by ten men, Lecce, right now, and they look like they have all the intensity in their movements. All right, we win the ball back, finally. They can have the ball like 30 meters in front of the goal. It's no danger. Yeah, but it's... We don't... We look asleep, Andon. We look asleep. We look like our movements are moving like 50% of the, of the speed that they're moving. And our yeah. strength is 50% of their strength. Every, yeah. every time I see like a one-on-one -on -one situation... It, that's what it looks like to me. It's like our brains are moving 50% slower. Our legs. That's a good ball from Chukwese, though. And Adley bumps him for the foul. Okay, that's a good foul to take from Adley, though. I don't. That's what Reindeers needs to do a little bit more of. When you get beat in those situations, make the little foul. It's not going to be a yellow card. Make the little foul. You have to do those things. And Reindeers doesn't do that enough. He hasn't learned that yet. He, he's too sporting. He's too sporting of a player. If he just adds that to his game, it will help us so much, Grinders. You know, you gotta have some grit. And that's all it is, really. It's just when someone beats you, you fuck them a little bit. Don't get a yellow card, but you 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 foul them. Or you don't you don't intentionally maybe foul them, but you you try to make the play. And if you don't win the ball, you take the man.
All right, this is looking a little bit better. We're, our center backs are creeping forward more and more. And, and this is the problem, though. We're not moving the ball around with any pace. Our passes look sloppy. And we're going back to Mike already. No movement. All right, Chikweze, though, he's looked bright today. Maybe Chikweze can uh, galvanize the team. Say, hey, let's fucking go. Great through ball from Chikweze. Pulisic! Oh! Strong punch from the keeper. Gabia getting into the... This is what I like from Gabia. That's exactly what I want to see from the center back. Don't worry about it. Go into their fucking final third. Win the ball. Follow the ball. That's what I want to see. Reinders. I think Pulisic. I can't really see in the sun. I think it's Pulisic. Yes. Oddly. It's Reinders. Reinders. Great through ball. Chukweze. 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 Oh my god. He didn't use his right foot. God damn it. Chukweze. And he laughs and he smiles. But Jesus Christ did he have it. It was wide open for him. Yeah. Use the weaker foot for fuck's sake. It was gate. He was, he, he was literally almost in his six-yard box there. I mean, you don't even need the technique. Just fucking toe poke it. Toe poke it with your weaker foot, for God's sake. You don't even need to strike it. You're that close. You don't even need a wind-up strike. Just toe poke it, for fuck's sake. This referee is protecting Leao a lot. He doesn't like it when he gets touched. I like that. He gave up. Uh, was it Blin the yellow card as well? Like he didn't. He didn't like that because he was complaining, saying I didn't foul him. Leao's getting the protection he needs. I want to know why Teo is not aware that, that that's coming in. Why is he not? And he's not even running after Alm. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a play. Now Teo comes in and he makes a play inside the box, shoves him down. That could be a penalty. Teo, I don't know why you turn on your burners in the last fucking second that you have to make a goddamn play. Turn on the fucking burners beforehand, please. Let's play at like seventy percent. Lay out in though. Lay out. Lay out. Go. Lay out. Go. Lay out. Go. We're sleepwalking, but we're doing it. And on. Yep. Lay out court. Sorry, didn't see that. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be contended though. They're they're they want a penalty still. The Almquist was still down, but our, that counter attack that started and Lecce switched off. Turned into layout, going Are through on goal, and just yeah, they're looking at a lot of things at VAR. I mean, I don't think they're gonna give this as a penalty or a foul. Honestly, I think Teo. Oh, oh, <laughs> but they... I mean Teo, the, the shoulder challenge, but then afterwards he just kind of puts his Almquist is like he's got his head half raised, pleading with the referee, and and Teo just drives nice his ball, knee right, into his face almost. Let's yeah, he nutmeg the goalkeeper. I think this will stand, honestly. I don't think they're going to give them the foul. And that's the only thing they can really complain about. Checking Because it's not offside. No, it's not offside. Maybe a foul. Yeah, the, but the foul is going to be Teo's intervention. And that would mean a uh, penalty kick for Lecce. I think the referee is giving it. I think he's pointing at the... I don't see him going to VAR at all. No, no. It's a... Or wait, he's still talking. He's telling everyone to go away. He's still he's still seeing what the hell's gonna happen. I mean, I I don't think this is a penalty though. I think the kick even in open play, I don't think this gets given given really for what Teo did. I think the problem was uh, the not this foul, but this one. 
the knee to the head. That's a problem. Yeah, looks bad. I know, but how are you gonna call Teo for that? I mean, Omquist is just like laying up, no, complaining, it's and Teo's trying it's to run. Yeah, it's stance. It's, it's stance. stance. I, I was gonna say, I, if you call that a penalty or a foul, like I mean, you have to give a penalty, right, Andon, in that situation. Yeah. 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 If they, they call that a foul it. from Teo, and then every time someone's gonna even be running in the box, you're gonna have to be concerned because maybe your leg touches them. Omquist. Wide open, Teo asleep again. And this is what we've been doing for the past several months. We've been sleepwalking and still winning matches. It's like we don't even play. And now Teo's like, okay, I'm going to go score. Yeah. Goal. Like we're yeah. playing a pickup game. Yeah. I feel like we're playing pickup games. Pull a sick into the box. Tom Quist. Oh, they've got Piccoli on right now. He's come on as striker. Okay, it's time to make subs. Yeah, 3-0, 60th minute. Let's do it. Uh, Pulisic, I would take off. Put on Ziroli. Oh, Giroud is in. Oh. Yeah, side netting. Giroud should come off because we got to play him for Roma, surely. And maybe Leao as well, you take off, hand on, save him. Yep, yeah, maybe, yeah. So, Okafor, Jovic, and uh, Zeroli. Yeah. And it's, god damn it, it's fucking Kier. He's making a defensive substitution and he won't, god damn it, he won't fucking put on Simic. Fuck you, Pioli. Fuck you, seriously. Fuck you. I swear, Simic is going to leave for free. He's not even going to sign a goddamn renewal. Fuck you. Jovic coming in. I Musa, can't Jovic, this shit. Oh, Lecce, Lecce directors are leaving the stadium. <laughs> I mean, I would too. A 3-0 man down. It's over. I mean, honestly, what does Lecce have to play for, Andon? I mean, they're, they're mid-table. This is kind of what happens to some mid-table teams. They kind of just fall asleep at the end of the season. If you if you put two or three past them, they're just gonna give up immediately. Or if they run run into some adversity, collision on the field. Tamori seems okay. Is it Piccoli down? Yeah, Piccoli is down. Head collision. And on, are you not enraged about this decision from Pioli? Because I am. I'm still I'm still pissed. How does nah. he leave Simic on the bench? How the fuck does he do that? How does he do that? We're up 3-0. We're up a man. And you're playing a guy who's not going to be here in literally two Listen. months. In literally Listen. in two months. Listen. He's going to be gone. He's going to be fucking retired. He's going to be in Denmark playing. Listen. Listen. You also Fuck have you. to take into consideration. Primavera has to play. They have to finish the season strong. So there's no need. What do you mean? Waste. The Primavera has to play. You're already taking them out of the fucking week. You're already taking them out of this the match that they have. They can't even be enlisted for that game anymore. I think they can if they They're don't here play. in this squad. They can. If they don't play. Are you serious? You're gonna see Simic starting. Yep. For the Primavera? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and look this up because I don't I don't think it, they can. I think they can as long as they don't play. As long as they don't play what, the same day or what? Yeah, the same day. This is Ooh, ridiculous. Nice. 
I'm I I'm raving right now. I think the chat is as well. This is ridiculous. Let me see. We play we play on Monday. Oh we my god, it. what a shot. The primavera plays tail? on Monday. So he can play. All right. I want to know I want to know if Simic is going to play that game. Yep, he's Oh, and even if he Teo. Teo slips. Omkris slips as well. Is the field problem? Oh, he's holding it. it just... That could be bad. A referee is immediately calling for somebody. Um. Well, just kind of slipped on the turf. I had a very similar, well, not similar injury. I don't know what's happened to Almquist right now, but I remember playing when I was a teenager. Oh, great shot by Teo. I remember playing as a teenager. I had a serious ankle injury, playing like in the wet grass. And this big guy like Zlatan stepped on my foot as I was sprinting to win the ball back where, you know, I was pressing into him. And then my trailing leg was like, because I was sprinting, you know, my, my trailing leg is trying to, you know, pivot in the grass and it just slips into like this divot and gets caught in it. Oh, you're wearing the stance. And just ripped. Next to four line. Ripped my tendon. No, sorry, next to Mokada. Almquist is fine. He's coming back on. Just read, read the chat in our chat. Like the last few minutes. Oh my God. What's going on? You, Rock, and Andon, and <laughs> Floki. Floki. It's gotta be Jordan. It's gotta be Jordan. <laughs> it's Jordan. <laughs> it's Jordan. <laughs> I, I I like Jordan. He's funny. He's okay in my book. Dangerous free kick. <laughs> it's gotta be Jordan. He's because he's quiet in every in the chat. He's quiet everywhere. And it's not even late in the poll. I know he's up. I know he's fucking up. I know he's watching this game. Guys, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. For fuck's sake, like and subscribe. Every game, you can catch us here. And there's a lot of other Milan-related content and other football-related content always going on, always happening here. And we have WhatsApp groups as well. Patreon for Milan Weekly podcasts as well. How many subs did we make? Three? Yeah. And on, you got to update the score. It's still, it's two, still oh, yeah, two, zero. Three, zero. Oh, sorry for that. I'm just dealing with WhatsApp right now. I forgot the score. No worries. We may, we, someone may or may not have been hacked by an Indian. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> We're not sure yet. I'm sure. It's, uh, someone may or may not have been hacked by an Indian. Oh, on target. Worried. That was a nice shot. Below the wall. I think Teo has done one sprint this whole game. Yep. As I said, no need winning. to waste it. He doesn't need he doesn't need to sprint. Save it for Inter, save it for Juve, save it for Roma. I expect us to put in a hell of a performance because we haven't been showing up for the past two months and it's running. We have we've been jogging slowly around the pitch, winning games. So I expect us to show up in these last months in the middle of April to the end of the season. We gotta show up in this final month or two. Reinders, Reinders! Ooh! What a goal that would have been! It's all smiles here at San Siro. Everyone's having a good time. They're just fucking around at this point. 
Winders Ooh. has the time to chest it, nice take it on his Ooh, nice thigh, control. and then take it on his foot, oh. and then rip it. This would have been a banger if he got it right. Yeah, Lecce is done. They're done. Oh, Drew has ice on his knees. Probably nothing serious. I mean, he is 38, right? Yeah. So if he doesn't have ice on his knees after playing professional football, then he's not, he hasn't really been playing. Is Pulisic still on? Because I, I still, I'm yet to see Zeroli come on. I've yet to see a Primavera player come I think, on. No, no. I think uh, Musa came in for Pulisic, yeah. He just won't give these Primavera players any time at all. If anything, I feel like that just, you know, saps the confidence out of you. As a young David, player, David, David is gonna cost probably around 20 30 million at max because his contract expires. Tail gets the ball away, and he's not having the best of seasons at all this season. So we can get him for cheap. Tiroli? Who? No, I'm talking about David. You want on David? David? Yep. David's had a fantastic season, and what are you talking about? Nah, he's still, I mean, he's not as whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? He's not as good as previous. You know how many goal contributions he's had? I know how many he has. I'm talking about how he plays. He has been ridiculous. In Ligue 1, he has literally 18 goal involvements, direct goal involvements in 28 matches. Yep, but previous season he had more, a lot more. And you do realize he's available for like probably 30 million. Yep, that's what I'm saying. We can get him for cheap. That was the point. We can get him for 25, 30 million at max. Well, I thought you were contract. arguing that we shouldn't get him. No, no, I, I say we should get him because we can get him for cheap. Okay, okay. Especially if we though. don't sign Jovic. Yeah, I, I would leave Jovic alone as well, honestly. We don't yeah, need I don't it. think Jovic will accept to be a third choice striker. And I like having David as this super technical guy who can play Cam, you know, or that second striker kind of role that Ruben was playing. He can also play Winger even. So even if you're starting Sheshko and Sheshko's in form, it doesn't mean David has to sit on the bench. David can still play. Yeah, but already have been, still... already have, who are you going to bench from the team you have right now? I mean, it depends so... who's uh, out of form, man. Everyone's going to, you know, maybe Pulisic is out of form or injured. Maybe Ruben is. Maybe Leao is even. Maybe Chukwe is. Nah, I don't know. I don't think we can get two players. But I mean, second striker, I think get Sheshko, Sheshko and David as like a partnership. Sheshko is like that second striker cam. I think that would be absolutely lit. That would be absolutely fire. That would be unstoppable stuff. I feel like that combination. Moussa They're both very technical guys, especially David. And David has got the speed oh, to run off of him. Oh, Jesus he's Christ. He's asking for a spray. What happened? Uh, he's holding oh, his back. He got, yeah, he got knee to the back. I don't think it's something serious. Yeah, it's an impact injury right into his tailbone. Yeah, in the tailbone area. Right above his ass. It was Basquiroto, I think, as well, who hit him. <laughs> oh, man. Take a knee from Basquiroto in the tailbone. Yeah, it was Basquiroto. Oh, shit. He's, he's still feeling it, Musa. I would be too. Now he's okay. Yeah, I mean, the magic spray will handle those kind of things. It's just like a bruise kind of situation for a little bit. Yeah, but I don't think there is going to be an auction for Sheshko, unless you're talking about like his uh, wages. 
or agent fees or commissions or something like that, then there's an auction. But 50 million gets the job done. I've yeah. read that in many, many reports. Because 50 million clause, is the buyout clause because for Shishko. Yeah. But I do think he's going to need a lot of uh, money under the table and high wages as well. Because plenty of EPL teams will pay that. Even mid-table teams will pay that in the EPL for a guy. And honestly, mid-table teams in uh, EPL are probably seen as like a better place for... A better, a better place in Sheshko's eyes anyways. Like a Brighton or something like that. I think Brighton's actually one of the poorer clubs. Maybe they couldn't afford 50 million. I don't know. West Ham definitely could, though. Uh, Reindeers. All right. Reindeers out to Musa. Chuck. That's not Musa. Oddly, can we get a fourth? Do we even want a fourth? Musa, Musa, Musa Dino out to Chukweze, 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 Chukweze. Let's see a shot with the left. No, he doesn't have the time. And he tried to go back to Kier. Kier didn't read it, though. And now it is a counterattack. Three on three situation. Onquist, one on one against Teo in the box. He has the space. Good save from Mike. Onquist, he got. The separation on, from Teo. Another. 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 Shot. Now Leo's going the other way. Leo reads Jovic. Jovic, no Penalty. speed, no strength. Uh. No speed, no strength at all. And this is why I'm not sold on, on signing Jovic for free, unless he's a third option. But we may need to give that to uh, Kamarda, the way that these uh, negotiations are going. Kamarda may need to be given that third spot on the roster. He seems to want first team wages already. Care does well not to foul. Chukweze trying to find Jovic. They're playing these through balls for Jovic, and Jovic is just like, oh my god. I just want to have a burger right now. Jovic can't be bothered to run for through balls. What are you doing? About 15 minutes left or so. Hmm. Come on, we have two more subs. Make them. Barisha on. Isn't he Albanian? Yeah. Uh huh. Musa's still feeling that knee in the tailbone. He's getting some more spray now. He's going to want to continue, though. He's not going to come off. Yeah. Yellow card for Chukweza. Why? What the fuck did he do? Reinders off. Please tell me Zeroli's on. Nine Please tell me Zeroli came on. It's been a For fuck's sake. Yeah, Ben Asser is somebody I've lost patience with. I knew as soon as we were going to give him that high contract, he was going to fuck off. Oh, my Chukweze. Best. Oh my god, we overplayed it. For God's sake. Oh, that nah, was a penalty. Get that as a penalty. No, it wasn't a penalty. I mean, that's, it was the box. that's a soft penalty if it's given as a penalty. It was outside the box, why penalty? Hmm. Yeah, none of the Primavera are going to be used. I I'm interested to see uh, so how many of them will be in the starting lineup uh, on Monday when they have their match then. 
if that's why Pioli is not doing it because it, there is no reason they shouldn't be playing and getting minutes in this situation. When they have a red card, we're at home. When are they going to get the time then? When? And on. When are they going to get the time? Sorry? And you and you know they're not, they're going to want, you know, the same thing that happened with uh Oh my god, that left back that went to Bournemouth eventually, Kerkesh. They're going to do that. They're going to do that. Cuz they see there's no path for them. There's no clear path for them to get ain't even a chance to become a part a bit part player in this team. And Pioli really screws us in that situation in that all the time. They should be getting more minutes for sure. Yeah, but you also you Especially cannot in the team. situation where Kier comes on. But also you cannot have first team players getting high salaries and sitting on the bench. Well, Kier, it's not that high, and he's going to leave in two months anyways. So, He's still receiving the salary. I'm sorry, but if they these first team players, if they aren't performing, they should be fucking sold then and done. Especially if they're getting salaries the way that Ben is. Yeah, but again, these players also Fuck needed them. for Primavera to finish. If the you're getting a strong. free lunch here, go get out of here. We need the Primavera also to Terracciano is coming come, come in. You need also the Primavera to finish the season strong. So we can save I them mean, play, save them. Yeah, as long as they get top six, I think they enter in the playoffs, right? And on I think that's how yeah. it works. And we are currently at sixth place. We're not sure to play in the playoffs. Well then don't even bring them to the match then. Don't even bring them. Why not bring them? It, it benefits them. The only way it's going to benefit them is if they can play in that Monday game. No, it also benefits them being with the team. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's only going to benefit them if they can yeah. be a part of that Supreme Bayer match. Because if they're out of that they're, match, this makes no sense out. to me. There's a team, they're not out. They will be only out if the, if the game is in the All same All right, I'll hold you to it because you've been watching the Primavera more than me. Yeah, they are only out if the, only if the game is the same day. The Primavera play today, yes. Only if it's the same day. Okay. Yeah. So if they, if they are playing tomorrow on Sunday, it would be okay. Yeah, they could play. Yeah. Jovic. But if they came on for five Jovic. minutes, they couldn't. Jovic! Oh! Jovic again! Oh. 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 I mean, they can still they can still play as long as they, it's not in the same day. Well, then they should get some minutes then, five minutes, especially in that Kier situation. Simic should come on for twenty minutes. He can play again. No need. No need. All right. It's we're gonna lose them. I swear to God, Andrew, we're gonna lose them. And you, you, I'm surprised you say that because you've been arguing for them to be used, usually. Yeah, but now now it's kind of too late for that. We're at the ending, ending stage of the tournament and the team is playing well. So there's no Gavin way says, now Hans, remember we're... Yeah. We're healthy now. Yeah, I know. It's a crucial part of the season, I know. Hans, remember, we're finalizing AC Milan U23. Many of our Primavera players will be moving on to that. Uh, yeah, we got Kirovsky. I guess he's supposed to be taking over potentially. Yeah, he's coming that. out. Sorry, I really Chano. hope. Yeah, Terracciano, that's good. He's getting some minutes. Give somebody young some minutes right now, for God's sake. I know Musa's young, but come on. Uh, to gain more ex experience playing day in, day out against senior players. I agree. This is a huge 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 boost to milan getting that u23 team this is how big clubs just, do it listen it's not just for the first day but also you can sell a lot of players like that of course you can yeah you can gain some value out of that and especially if they get into Serie b quickly and we can put like you know ben Acer or whoever is coming back from injury i think we could put there for like you know yeah a month or two let them let them get some minutes in their legs and it's much better like to that. play them in Serie C rather than the Primavera group. Yeah, of course. And then we get to hold on to these players. And instead of sending them out, out on loan to like, you know, this club, that club, wherever, we are holding on to them and they're able to play. And that's going to benefit their growth immensely. Oh, Leal, great flick. Oh, nice move. Jovic is, he's in the mood. He wants a goal. Jovic wants a goal. 
Oh, nice move. Leao deflection. Corner yeah, kick. Yeah. Nice build up play. Jovic wants a goal. Leao yeah. senses that he wants a goal and he's trying to give it to him. Musa. Musa Dino goes in the box. Rips a cross shot. Leao applauds it. Goes wide though. Out for goal kick. Leao is such a good person, I think, overall. I don't know. Like, Marcus, that's how you motivate Leao. You know, I, I he haven't sees seen like, oh, you, you... play. Sorry? Evan Nielsen. No, Marcus is asking, would Evan Nielsen from Porto be a good signing? I haven't watched him play. And I don't Yeah, I haven't seen him either. League. Is he... Marcus, tell us about him. He's a striker. He's a Brazilian striker. He's like 20-something like that place from Porto. All right, I'll look oh, at these stats. Is he like kind of like a Jonathan David kind of guy? Like he's not like he's a 24. Big guy. He looks like Carlos Baca to me. He's not a big he guy. Like he's a... not physical. Yeah, he's about six foot. Okay. I don't know, man. When you buy from the Portuguese league, that. you have to pay top dollar. And it's like they haven't been playing against great competition, great. Uh, his goal record in Portugal it seems like 11 goals in 22 nice, matches, yeah. four assists. Is his, what's his Champions League record? Okay, four goals, one assist, and seven appearances. Yeah, he could be good. Two-footed player from Brazil. His contract expires in 2027, though. You're probably going to have to pay top dollar for him. Like, he's going to cost as much as a Sheshko, and I don't know if that's really worth it. Evan Nielsen over a Sheshko, that doesn't make that doesn't make sense to me. Because that's probably the money you're going to have to pay for him in reality, Marcus. So I don't... I would stay I don't away know from if he's worth it. Strikers. I would strictly stay away from him. Yeah, that's the thing with, with these Portuguese players. Like, it's it really is hit and miss big time from them. And the, the problem is you have to pay top dollar. It's not like you're going to Belgium. You know, where you pay like maybe medium or low amount. They, they're they asking for prices like they're a Premier League player. You know, yes, they're doing stuff in the Champions League. But even then, you know, Champions League is open usually. Or pretty open compared to like Serie A. The tactics that are used are pretty uh, positive in comparison to Serie A. So, yeah. I would say he's probably going to be like a 50, 40 million player. And for that, you can probably get Xerxi, Sheshko, Jonathan David. For sure, you can get Jonathan David. And Jonathan David's a year younger and probably better, I would imagine. Nah, get one striker, then focus on the midfield. And if there's money left at the end, get the You'll end on is convinced it's okay. We're going to be fine with losing Giroud. That one striker is going to come in and nail it next season. Yep. I'm not so convinced at all. Especially yeah, if we're only going to have gonna, Jovic backing him up. Jovic, Jovic, is in, Jovic is going to stay in Camarda will be the third choice. Yeah, that's that's risky as fuck, Andon. Yeah, it's either that or you lose Camarda, so you, you, you have to choose. I would rather see us... Loan in a player at least. Get get Ramos or Broya on loan. You know, and have Kamarda. I don't want to see Jovic as being the guy who's going to try and carry this team in a difficult situation. Ben Acer is just not even in this game. Oh! Oh, nice shot. Mike is like, what the hell are you guys doing? I want a clean sheet, goddammit. Ben Acer is not even in this game. And on. If 40 million comes in for for Ben Acer, which I doubt that even would come in for Ben Acer. I doubt anyone's even willing to pay 40 million for him. Let alone 50 million. I would say you let him go immediately. Maybe if we get lucky, Saudi Arabia comes in. That would be an absolute godsend, an absolute miracle. If they come in for Ben Acer and I'll give us the give us the ability to let this guy go for 40 million, 50 million. That would be a dream come true. I lost my patience with him. This is a guy who 
should be a leader at the club, but he's sitting there quiet all the time. And he plays like this as well. You know, clearly something is going on. I know it's been Ramadan. I know you've had to been you've had to fast and everything, but you know, we've seen Salah Mo, Mo Salah do some great performances. We've seen plenty of Muslim players continue to, to keep form. And so for me, it's professionalism. Or he just doesn't have the physical ability. Maybe. Also, he's maybe lost that because of his injuries. And the Bayern dieting that he's with, had to do now. Listen, Bayern Munich is drawing with Hedermine and they have a man up. They were what? two up in the Bayern Munich. They're playing like a bottom team. And they have Yes, Marcus. Players. Jonathan David yeah, and they, Leal both came from Lille. Uh Calabria. What are you talking about Bayern Munich for? What? Yeah. They're drawing with the bottom table team in Germany. And Who they cares? have a man up. And they have a man up. Yeah, I mean, that's what that coach does for you. No one likes that coach. That guy is toxic that coach is toxic as hell he got lucky with chelsea lucky as hell that coach is a sob he's a son of a bitch Oh my god, Chukwese is wide open. Please give him the ball. Calabria, fuck you. Oh, Calabria. fuck you, Calabria. 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 What the hell? Jesus Christ. I agree, Joseph. I know the first year back from Major. But I mean, it's been two years kind of where he's been given this. I hope he comes back stronger for Milan's sake, but I mean, Joseph, you're telling me you wouldn't sell Ben Acer because he's he's literally, if you check on Capology, C A P O L O G Y dot com, you will see all the players on Milan or whoever you want to check. You will see their wages, their salaries. Ben Acer is at the top. That's the top man on the team that we are paying. And these are the kind of performances that he's giving us. And he's in his prime of his life. It's not even like he's old or anything. And I'm just I'm I've just lost patience with him at this point. Cuz for 40 million you could get Oiber and Fofana. You could get You could get a uh, Mark you could get a uh, Marcus Thuram's little Kefren Turam. You could get Turam and like uh I don't know, someone on a free. You know? There's a lot you can do with that kind of money. If they come in with 40, 50 million, you could do a hell of a lot better. And we don't know if Ben Asir is going to get to those heights again. Because I feel like ever since he signed that new contract for big money, it's been like this. <sighs> Yeah, I agree. We're not going to get the 50 million probably unless Saudi Arabia comes. They always pay top dollar, Yosef. But uh, yeah, we're not going to get the top money. Maybe we could get 40 million from a club. If he comes back strong at the end of the season, we could get maybe 40 million. And yeah, you're right. Maybe keeping another season, he gets a good season then. Then you get a little bit more. Maybe you get that 40 million instead of 30. Maybe you get that 50 instead of 40, something like that. Ricardo Sachs, what's going to happen with CDK? Atalanta want a discount, apparently. Yeah, everybody wants a discount. Milan got a discount for Tonali, too. I think we'll get 20 million from him in the end, at least. I think right now it's probably around 25 million we're going to get because I think he reached a lot of the bonuses. And I think we got like 3 million from the uh, loan fee as well. So it'll probably be like 23 million total. Maybe 25. And we probably played like 32 or so because he didn't reach any of the bonuses really for us. And I think he was like 32 plus like 5 in bonuses or 30 plus 5 in bonuses, something like that. So we'll see. 
what happens? Last attack. Everybody wants a discount though. Gabriel Stones fucks up the game and Ricardo say pay up or go home. CDK for Scalvini. Hell yeah. There's no yeah, way that's ever gonna happen though. There's no way that will ever happen though. Sorry, Marcus. Scalvini is my number one signing for the defense though. That would be my uh, dream signing for the defense. Guys, game is but over. It looks like he's 60 million or something. Game over, 3-0. Yeah, 3-0. 3-0. It's a victory. It's a victory. Next, up, next up, we have Roma. Then we play Sassuolo. We need to win those games. So. I don't know who our men of the match would be. I mean, I the first half is where all the action really happened. Chiquese was in it a lot. And he kind of stayed in just, it, I would say, in the game as well. Listen, I would I maybe just, I would maybe give it to Chiquese. Honestly, I would maybe give the either, man of the match to Chukwueze. I feel like he stayed or, in the game the whole time. Either him or Adley. Adley? Adley has two assists. Get assist. the hell out of here. Get, Adley has two assists. Get assist. out of here, man. What? Get out. He has two assists. Get out of here. But he has no two assists. He has okay. two assists. Good for him. I know he did, he did fine, but no. There's no way I give it to Adley. Over Chukweze, no way. No way. No way. I'm glad he gets those assists, oddly, because I want his value to go up and for us yeah. to sell him when he's at the top for 12, 15 million. Especially that, that ball for, 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 the, for Leal's goal. That barely any player can do that. That's yeah. your goal. That's an amazing pass. You give him the space, he can definitely pick a pass out for sure, Adley. He's just not a defensive player, so you don't you don't play him as a defensive player. No. It's simple. It's that simple. Yeah. I don't know. Should we uh close this up then? Maybe yeah. we can do a we could do a stream later. I don't know. If you play football manager, we can talk about the game as well. I was gonna say because Roma Lazio are gonna be playing very soon. Yeah, maybe we come back now. for maybe we could start a live up maybe guys if you if you want to come on a live maybe we can get one going i don't know for the uh lazio roma yeah, i don't know gonna i know steve is going to be on probably yes yeah, i imagine gonna for probably, that game yeah steve is going to hold if we can join him if, if, if yeah maybe we can join steve instead yeah guys if you're not subscribed hit the like button hit the subscribe button check the patreon group check also our channel milan lab would appreciate it so thank you for joining us today uh next game is roma probably we're gonna do a watch along not 100 sure but probably we will so join us down join us then i'm definitely a lazio fan today we'll see what happens yeah. all right you guys thank we're you. sleepwalking to second we're sleepwalking to the europa league final 3-0 today easy dub thank you and for we'll again on thursday force the milan guys Adieu.